everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, it's just running late here. Hello, hello, hello. Mm. Clarice. Now I'm going to use you guys as a... Oh, my God. <laughs> as a mirror. There you go. Uh -huh. Last on. minute preparations. Yeah, I don't know. I think we're... Is that good? I think we're still messed up. Is that from, good? <laughs> from our time the other night with crab beer porters by no fault of their own. I think we're still feeling the the, uh, the lingering effects. Yeah. Oh. There we go. We're all over the place. Now, hello, hello, and our Hello Monday show. Oh. And we are going fuzzy again. Yeah. I think uh, we'll have to return the camera. I thought Obi would like that one. <laughs> How you guys doing? Well, uh, better than here. You're you good. Okay? Yep. You here? I'm kind of here. You sure? I wouldn't say exactly. Alrighty. I'm here. <laughs> Let's see. Bottle Caps is here. There's my man. Great video on the weekend. Loved it, my friend. Good early morning drive. That was my uh, take a uh, Tylenol video. I got to watch and take at the same time. So, thank you, <laughs> Christopher Spence. How you doing, my friend? Great to have you back here. Dad's Piranha. Awesome channel. So glad to have you in here. One dad to another. North American Trains has been coming by. I love that. Great having you here. Welcome. Was, train guys are always welcome here. That's right. That's right. Christy K9, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. ATGH Travels, awesome. Andrew, I'm assuming right now that's here. Maybe. Who knows? I like that. That's kind of like with us. They kind of never know yeah, who they're getting. Yeah, you never know. I like that. I like surprise packages. Panic D Videos, you have sent me some more um, I've seen tonight um, in Facebook. I apologize. We're kind of talking about how to do things with OBS and working together, which is absolutely cool to have something with that. Kind of want, because I have the same. Uh, Polynesian vlogger, excellent. So good to have you here, my friend. Such an awesome guy. Yes. To By the way, the I would want to know if you're safe, because yes. I've heard it's expanding mm -hmm. there, and there's more evacuations, people waiting till the last minute. I hope you're not one of them. Please let us know. Please be safe. Uh, Terrell, the original. Oh, because I'm just going by the side here, so don't mind, guys. I know I'm repeating a little bit here, but I can always repeat Terrell because she is our original mod. Our guest of honor tonight, the two alpacas are here. Excellent. So good to have you here. They're so amazing, these guys. Uh, I couldn't ask for a better Monday night lineup with them. Uh, this natural journey, excellent. Another one of our passengers. Yeah, so cool. I'm from uh, New Zealand. That's it's right. lunchtime at their place now. So what are we having watching. for lunch, guys? Yeah. What's on the menu? Uh, TriStar Travelers. Oh, my God. Oh my, we've loved watching her channel grow. She's so awesome. Also, Rob93. Hey. Also, In the Woods with Wolfie. Welcome to our channel. We love it. Welcome, welcome. We're so, I said to show Xenia today, we're so in love <laughs> with your channel name. I I, I don't know why. I love this. the name of it is. It is an awesome channel name. Uh, if you stick around, I'm probably just going to be calling you Wolfie, if I may. Uh, just leave me in a chat, if it's okay with you. Uh, and Reese's Middle Off Road Adventure is hey, back. How are you, you feeling today? I hope it's much better than on the weekend. Yeah, that was uh, a string of bad luck. Uh, he got, uh, what was it, Poison Oak, right? Yep. And I guess his face was completely... Uh, yeah, swollen up and everything else and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, with so. IV and different pills and all mm. that and swollen face. So I really hope that today is much better. Unofficial bucket list family. Yes, there's Hello a great channel. Welcome. So good to have you. Chad's Adventure is also in. Uh, lots of uh, new uh, uh, comers as well. So welcome to our channel. We are very friendly. Our uh, community uh, mm. of chatters are very friendly and welcoming uh, as you can see everybody has blue wrenches if you don't have it yet you're gonna you get do them. now <laughs> um yeah because uh, everybody's very welcoming and everybody's very equal as we always say the, gu the guests and you guys in the chat are the ones that make uh the show happening so uh, everybody's welcome, respectful welcome. and has fun here and we just sit back and relax and get to know your neighbor there's lots of great channels in here you're really looking at the cream of the crop guys and we're appreciative to have you here and also add new cream of the crop as well, like yourselves. Definitely. And for those of you who are new, uh, we are husband and wife team, making videos and photos at the same time, getting up close and personal with YouTube creators from all around the world. Every night from Monday to Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern, we are here on Live with Pusha with our special guests and awesome you in the chat. So welcome 
and thank you for joining us today. Oh, Michael, you made it. Welcome. Another channel I just got to connect with today. Uh, he's here. Uh, you get a blue wrench as well. There we go. So good to have you here. Thank you for coming. Cher is in as well. Welcome, welcome. And Abby, mm -hmm. it's not that kind of friendly. Uh, it's in a good way friendly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, very nice friendly. <laughs> Guys, really. <laughs> There's a couple uh, that I always know who's going to get triggered by a certain phrase that Xenia says. <laughs> yeah. And uh, by the way, uh, today we have a great guest tonight, a couple, a, a family of yep. vloggers. They're vlogging everything about their travel and about their life. They have some unboxing videos. Uh, they're a fun area. group. Like, they're, they're so fun. fun. Yeah. And uh, a wife is a photographer as well. And uh, that's the two alpacas that are going to be on tonight. So stick around. And in a few minutes, we're going to get them on and talk with them and get up close and personal. This natural journey. And I asked if you guys managed to watch our lifeguarding. No, I am doing right now. I'm going to your Which channel. Which one? I have watched the previous ones. Uh, Let's see here. Is there, if, if it's a new video, we probably haven't. Uh, there was one about six days ago, The Joy of Living no. in New Zealand. Life cards. Okay, so we'll definitely put that aside yeah, for after. So let's, thank you very much for reminding. Yes. And as I always say, tweet it out. And yep. if we haven't uh, seen it, just remind us. We, uh, it's not nagging. Uh, uh, we really would want to see your videos. Yeah, uh, we've had some call-outs. We just found out that we're done over the last couple of weeks. We had no idea even existed. I mean, we want to see them. We're, uh, yeah, yeah. And I repeat again, we are so thankful for all the guys who, who have done a shout outs to our channel. I think there was like five of them last week. And yep. uh, some of them uh, I found from like a month ago that I didn't even we didn't even see because it wasn't tagged or tweeted to us or any any other way. Yeah, exactly. I just stumbled upon them. And uh, it, it's more mostly because of you guys' work. You put so much work in all your videos. And if you do a shout yeah. out, you want people who you shout out to, to, to know, to let them know. So we can say thank you so much. So for thank you guys it. very much. And so just keep us you, on everybody. top. So yeah, at Camaro time, welcome. Good to have you here. I know Camaro time sometimes he can't say the whole time. I'm hoping he can tonight. Always love having him here, but I want to give him an acknowledgement. Shayer Erickson, excellent to have you here. You've been so amazing lately. We appreciate you keep coming by. There's an amazing woman, Colorado Martini, who mm -hmm. is going to be. going to be our guest in a little bit more than two weeks. Yep. We are so. going to have some. That's yeah. Well, that's because the other night anybody was here got to see a preview of what we're like on this. I don't know if anybody's gonna want. No, this is gonna be fancy cocktails. It's more yeah. cocktails. It's not beer. Nathan likes drums. Good to have you here, my friend. That's about the fifth time we've been bumping each other. Like, uh, I don't know what you'd call it. It's great. Always great to see you. I like seeing you working all the places and that. Yeah, and for those of you who missed the Saturday's Live, we had Craft Beer Pours they on. Were amazing. It was amazing. We got to know more about the channel. Uh, and we also sampled a special pack of Quebec-made beer. Yeah. Uh, so go and check that out. We usually don't drink. so We haven't had a beer since Christmas, and that was um, the months in between that one. And the beer I bought was all like 8 9% of alcohol each bottle. And, and I, I, I can say that those have in the chat that have been on Saturday can assure <laughs> you that it was quite interesting. <laughs> Rob <Ninety> live stream. <laughs> Rob Night Three. It was awesome. Yeah, and it was fun. Like I mean, also it was an amazing. What a great Saturday night! Like it was a date night for us, and they're mm -hmm. they're fantastic people. Was fun. What is a lot of fun, yeah. and we just chilled out. Uh, so go check it out if you missed it. You gotta watch that. <laughs> Colorado's been fifteen minutes for me. <laughs> But now we even know flags about it. I don't know. It kind of, uh, it's not like we have any issues with it or anything like that. It's no, just, no. And I mean, the summer yeah. is coming. So probably, you know, going to mm -hmm. the campfire or hanging out with friends it might be a bit more often. We just don't have it in our regular day to day thing. But we don't. Uh, Florida uh, Pirate. Say it's bad I haven't had a drink in eight years. Everybody's adults. Good. For, well, I mean, if that's well, if that's what good you want you, to do, so congratulations. Yep. But uh, we're definitely not against it, uh, so. and we're also not promoting it. We're, we're no. as, once again, thank you, son. We're as neutral as neutral can be. Let's give the coffee. A, what? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Jeez, I think she's still kind of half court. <laughs> oh no, my goodness! So on that note, let's give the old coffee. The let's give the typical steam test. In the thermos that Xenia bought for me. <laughs> what a bottle can I say? Uh, 
Well, Caps, what can I maybe? Uh, oh, I know okay. <laughs> virtual uh, aid is not the best, but is there something you can suggest for swollen face for Reese? Yeah. I know that uh, cabbage leaves are really good for swollen uh, anything, really. That's, you got to you really keep an eye on that. Cabbage, cabbage leaf around your face that probably could keep it down, but it definitely probably will take uh, a couple of days for it to get better. Uh, if it really does get worse, I would uh, repeat your trip to emergency. It's always better to uh, go on a cautious side. Sorry, I'll speak sick. Trishy, hello, hello. Hey, we, by the way, burgers. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Trish D is uh, one half of uh, craft beer pours, as uh, she revealed um, on Saturday, and craft beers pours uh, themselves as well, or himself as well. So. Thank you and uh, welcome uh, back. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm drinking tea now and I'm going to be getting coffee in a minute. This is a fresh peppermint tea, my favorite thing in the world. Um, I just like fresh peppermint. It also reminds me of my childhood. And Andrew, I thought you just left. <laughs> just seen the door forth. closing. I'm what? like, oh, what? no. What um, I'm I was going to go and join somebody else's chat physically for a while. Uh, back. Florida Pirate Adventures, <laughs> Miss Drinking Rum. Yeah, yeah, I like rum in hot chocolate. That's like the best winter drink. Hot chocolate and rum. Mm, it's it's amazing. Warms you up instantly. Love peppermint tea. Yeah, that's that's like my go-to thing. Mm. Any Any season of the year, any day of the year. I want to bring up uh, this one here. This is, uh, anybody who knows Canada a bit, there's a province, Newfoundland, that's, of course, an island in the most eastern part of North America. And they have a drink called Newfie Screech. This is like the, I guess, uh, I don't know if I call it famous or infamous, as the old joke goes. Let's see if I can bring up a bigger picture. And that's a rum, and it's kind of got a sweetness to it. But the significance of that is, if you ever go to Newfoundland, uh, they actually don't do it with the real fish anymore. But up until about maybe 10 years ago, if you were in a bar... And they asked you if you if you were new, and you, they would ask if you've ever been screeched in. And if you said no, usually the waitress would jump up on the bar and ring this big bell. And then they would take you up on top of the bar, and then they would have a rubber boot. Years ago, it was just any fisherman's boot, which imagine how lovely that was. But they had to have a rubber boot there, and they poured the screech in the rubber boot, and you had to drink from it. And then they would hollow a codfish. From, they always had them in there because half of them were fishmongers plus bars. And make you take the codfish and kiss it on the lips. And then after that, you were considered screeched in. And then everybody would celebrate with you. And that's screech. I brought it to uh, Latvia one time with me for your uncles and that. Yeah. They so, didn't think it's uh, too strong. No. <laughs> <laughs> they were sharing a, a, a beer mug of it. I yeah, think. exactly. With everybody, it was kind of was like a... We had a good time. Yeah. It was a good time. Uh, yeah. Ball caps, I see, is in a good mood again today. Yes. Uh, so I, I hope it gets better in time. And, uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Why are you... You wonder why. I don't blame you. Well, look the at what he put on. That's what I said. And uh, oh, okay. Michael <laughs> McRainal, thank you so much. Uh, thank you. I hope you stick around no, and, and get to know us even more. Yeah, and thank you for reminding for thank those you. of you guys who are in U.S. It's Memorial Day for you. Yes, and um, a very happy Memorial Memorial Day to you all. A safe Memorial Day. Um, and let's remember the people who died while yes, serving the armed forces. Yeah. Um, the, the true meaning behind it, of course. But it's also time then for family that brings all that together. So. Uh, we hope you guys had a good long weekend. Yes. Be safe, enjoy, and uh, enjoy your time with your family. And thank you for considering a bit of your time on Memorial Day to spend it with us. We couldn't be more honored to have you. And uh, Bacardi, yeah, Bacardi Ram. <laughs> anything, panic D, anything you would drink out of a fisherman's boot has to taste good. I, I don't know. <laughs> like I say, at least the, the bars at the end, they have, now they use like, they got usually just like those uh, little kid rubber boots that they keep on stock. And it's got like a, a sh like a double shot glass, usually like taped to the inside of it. And they got to kiss a rubber fish. Oh, how times change, don't they? Yeah, yeah, I would say anything that ends up in a rubber boot doesn't matter anymore how it tasted before, so. Tennessee. Well, now we're talking. Uh, hey, everybody, Neil and Annalise, uh, both together. Are you guys making dinner um, or are you about to have dinner? And if so, what are you having? Yeah. Tracy what are you Castro us? is in. 
Hmm. They posted the other day a picture of uh, what they call cabbage steak. Oh. And I uh, really, now I'm going to be holding you accountable on this one, too. Mm. <laughs> I would really yeah. want to know the recipe of it. They were very um, mystical about it when I asked. Okay. Uh, I would really want to know. Yeah, I'm curious. Uh, cabbage steak. Uh, how you make that? That sounded interesting. I'm not the biggest cabbage fan, but I would eat it just because of the steak thing. I'm just more curious. Yeah. I don't hate cabbage. I I don't go out of my way for There's it. There's no meat in it, so. Right. Oh, <laughs> right. Yeah, right. just saying. But uh, it just was very right. intriguing, and they do eat it with salmon. Yeah. Oh, pirates out! You're gonna watch later. We'll catch you later. You take care of yourself. Thank you so much for dropping by. Yeah, and uh, oh, I forgot my favorite part. Uh, for those of you guys, um, uh, press that like button and share that share button. And for those of you oh. who are so lazy <coughs> they don't want to press that and smash that share button, go ahead and go to our Twitter the link that I'm going to be dropping in the chat right now and reshare our poster, the more the merrier. And if you're too lazy to do that, that's okay too. And now that we've passed <laughs> that unpleasantness, <laughs> calling I almost, out. you almost got through without it. Yeah. I almost forgot mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm, I couldn't. Mm -hmm. I couldn't. So. Oh my God! There's somebody I haven't seen a little bit. Kelvin Climber. Mm. Hey. Yeah, I think he was in last week at some point, but yeah, I'm getting What's busy. Um, mm. Wowzers, that's hot. Oof. You're not too stupid, bottle caps. Don't talk. You have them. Twitter and you have retweeted our stuff before, so don't tell me you can't do that. <laughs> but if if you're lazy, that's a different story. I like that AD Andrew uh, tweet up, up and away. I love that. Excellent. Thank you guys so much. It is it is greatly appreciated when you can tweet it out. Oh, uh, huh, both of us, we ate already. Neil had buffalo cauliflower and. I had a salad. Oh, very nice. Very, very good. Very nice. Sticking to their healthy spring lifestyle, yeah, they are. They're, they're, they're very they're inspirational. Dedicated. I would must <laughs> say a, a week more, and maybe I will get to that gym. Uh. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! I figure this is going to go somewhere. There. Um. Yes, Polynesian. By the way, I hope I didn't miss your answer about if you are safe. Uh, like I hope. You're tweeting, so I hope you're safe. Uh, <coughs> yeah, because in the morning, the first news I heard was about it uh, going into geothermal plant yeah. uh, and uh, starting to blow up and all that stuff that goes with it. Custom so, cards. How are you doing? So I, I, I mm. hope you. I really hope you're safe. Well, um, we guys can talk a, a little bit more about what you guys did over the weekend while we get our guests That's in. That's right. It's about that time, guys. Yeah. Uh, we're going to uh, just send them the link. And while we wait on them uh, to join, you can either share or like or just uh, chat about your weekend. And I heard about a Western bar on TV. There was a real toe in a glass with rum. To be a part of the club, you had to drink all of it. And your lips had to touch the toe. This Toe is extremely old, Reese's writes. Yeah, there's quite the bar. <laughs> that is quite the And after that, you die from flesh eating disease or something. Exactly. Um, Geeks, uh, what's up, party? What is up, party God, people? Amazing. Yeah. I hope it's a legend. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a good time, Geeks, on uh, Saturday night, you're aware. So <laughs> it was good fun. My sister's in love with you guys, by the way. And, of course, Bottle Caps and Steve-O. And, uh, yeah, we were talking about just the next day on the phone, so. Uh, and Bottle Caps, of course, is uh, grabbing on the merch right away. Can I get a free t-shirt and a coffee cup if you blow up the Asian <laughs> vlogger? And they are safe. So thank you. Thank Excellent. you. I, because, yeah, I was thinking about you in the morning. <laughs> I all morning I'm thinking, oh my god, oh my god, see so it says six miles, six miles, how far it is from where they're talking. <laughs> so I was really looking forward to seeing you in the chat today. Do you have your Twitter open? Huh? Yeah. Uh look at the last message. Go up. Out from them. Uh mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, I thought you thought maybe it was tonight. No. Okay, good. We're good. We are good. All technical difficult. This is what happens when you're the producer, director. 
say talent for both of us. I don't know how to really call that one the ones that get in front of the camera. I guess we'll leave it at that <laughs> and all that stuff. Yeah, your talent. Well, your talent yeah. of making videos. But yeah. yeah, that's what happens when I'm in charge of social media and then Andrew pops in once in a while. <laughs> then <laughs> Just we... to mess things up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. No, but yeah. that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> it's all good. Down the rabbit hole. What's going on? Loving your videos. Well, I always like your videos, but lately, especially the West Edmonton Mall and stuff like that. That's two that did West Edmonton Mall, but completely different. That's where I like to put it. It was that her and uh, Violet. Yes. There, which is cool. Oh, did you hear the last rumors? Room. Did you hear the last rumors that the new royal couple might be having their honeymoon in Bam? Jasper. Oh, there you go. Good for them. I well, good for less. Alberta. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter where they're having their honeymoon. Hey. Canada gets permission once again. Sure. I well, good for less. Alberta. It's got yeah. video. Oh, I mean, it doesn't really Hi, you gotta pause. Uh, hey. 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 How are What's you? Up, guys? Hi. Good to see you. Pause. Uh, hey. 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 <laughs> and then you can watch and Sorry about that. through Hangouts. Yeah, can you we had something. Again? We had to switch computers really quickly. Sorry about that. Not a That's problem. Okay. It's good. And I laugh when, I go, when it always happens. We've done it two by times. It feels like you're inside a pet store all of a sudden. Everything gets yeah, going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do that too. So, <laughs> so, <don't worry. laughs> How are you guys? <laughs> yeah, we're awesome. Yeah, doing great. Well, you guys. How are you guys? Well, we're doing good. Yeah, it's, it's a uh, Monday. We're starting the week. <laughs> Sunday was supposed to be our day off from uh, uh, doing uh, the series, but we ended up watching everybody else's. So I guess we're always connected. So. <laughs> well, we were on as guests. <laughs> yeah, we were on the Corn Life Network last yeah. night and everything. So, how are you guys been? Oh. Yeah, we've had had today off, so, or yeah. he had today off. I'm off for the summer. I'm a school counselor, so oh. I'm uh, off for the summer. <laughs> Well, well enjoyed vacation well deserved so good for you yeah. we're not all so lucky no yeah he has to go back to work tomorrow so. yeah. oh, <laughs> but i had the day off oh. and she'll wave to you as you're going out the window yeah. no, no she'll be asleep i'll be in, a bed. in a bed <laughs> that's the hand that comes up from the side where you don't even see the face they're just kind of yeah, yeah. Or pushing me away go 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 away yeah yeah, that's more what it is. The dogs bark as he leaves, you know. That's, that's it. <laughs> uh, well, uh, that, so you're a school counselor. Have you been doing that a long time? Yeah, um, about six years. Before that, I was um, I worked for the Department of Children's Services. It was like, uh, it's like child welfare. Right. Child services, so. Oh, like Brooke. Yeah, like uh, Brooke. From, uh, you, you guys must have seen the Corn Life Network. Rick and Brooke. Oh. We've been in out of that. I don't know if we saw that one or not. Uh, yeah, they're one of the channels that was been around for a while, and uh, they just got married last week. And his wife is uh, a social worker in uh, I I don't know, not Idaho, Iowa, 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 okay. Iowa. Cool. Yeah. So we were just talking about that. Funny you should mention it. Uh, did you do that for a long time? Yeah, I did that for about ten years. That's wow. not an easy job. No. That's <laughs> no. why she's not there that's anymore. Not, that's why yeah. I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> it's not one of those jobs that most people get to say, I put 30 years in. It is very taxing on you. Yeah. I, I, very few people I know are staying in that for 30 years. It's just, you know, you, 10 years is about it. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's day and night. You're on call. You never know what you're going in. And they're never calling you because it's a happy situation. There's always a like some <laughs> sort of issue. So, you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's never, it's, yeah, I, I, you go on call and you're always called out like at three in the morning and stuff. So, 
Yeah. So now I go, I, I get to go to work at like seven forty-five and get off at a normal hour and have summers off. So. I was going to say that in case you forgot that I was going to bring that up too as another perk. So you guys yeah. are starting your summers quite early. We have almost a full month of uh, school yeah. still. We start back in the end of July. So. Oh. oh wow! And they're also on the year-round program where they've got uh, two-week breaks at fall, two-week breaks at Christmas, and a two-week break at springtime. A modified year-round. We don't have a we have a one week at spring. Oh, um, one week. Okay. Something um, more for you, uh, your town where you're living, or for the whole state? Um, that's our county. Um, yeah, some of uh, some of, uh, but most of the state gets out around this time of year and then they start back anywhere from the end of july to the beginning of august okay wow that's interesting yeah because our kids will they'll only go back to school at the end of august which is ridiculous because they go back for like a day and a half each half days and then they'll be off for the long weekend we have yeah. i've yeah. still never quite put that one together why that happens <laughs> that way <laughs> yeah but what do I know? I'm not a school uh, administrator. They're not asking my opinion. So. Yeah, no, I mean, like, where I come from, we always finished on the 30th of May and always start off September 1st. So we had all three months off. Nice. I remember when I was growing up, that was the, it was the same way for us. We had three month vacation. When yeah. I, when I grew up, so Chris Martin grew up everywhere. Like he moved every three years. He, he uh, yeah. yeah. My dad was in the military, so I, I got to move around the whole world every three years. We picked up, moved our house, and lived somewhere else. You're gonna start wow. off with because I was gonna ask you about that, so I'm glad you brought it up. I was wondering if we could start. You can name some of the places if you can put them a bit in order of where you've uh, been, where you've grew up. Well, um, currently we live in Tennessee. That's where we, that's where Larry and I live. Just for everybody out there, um, I was born in Memphis, Tennessee. Then we moved to Florida um, for three years. Then I moved to uh, Japan for three years. Then I moved to South Texas for three years. I moved back to Florida for another three years. Then we moved to Washington D.C. or right outside of Washington D.C. in Alexandria, Virginia, for three years. And then my dad retired from the military. And then we moved back to Florida to a, a home that we we had already owned and uh that and then i finished out high school there then my parents uh moved to back to tennessee to my my dad where he grew up on a farm and uh so he moved back up there i stayed in florida for another six months or so and then i moved up to tennessee that, and, I, and I, met, I met her the very weekend the very weekend i moved here <laughs> really wow. yeah, we, we met at um, my uh, my cousin was a, a preacher at a, a local small church Okay. And uh, I went over there to just kind of hang out with the family, and there she was. We've been together ever since. That is so amazing. Oh, that's interesting. Talk about fate, my friend. Yes. Yeah, and that was back in uh, 96, the, the, the fall of 96. Yeah. Well, things were meant to be. That's right. That's Yeah. yeah. I, I, was born, I was born in Nashville an hour and a half down the road, and, well, the I, and we moved here in second grade, so I've been here <laughs> Oh, she, you know, she's never moved, and I've always moved. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, she's total a, different. You're a lifer for the place, so. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. What, was it, what was it like growing up and jumping from place to place? What did, how do you think it changed you, or was it a good an experience? Oh, uh, the, it did make me very outgoing. Uh, I was an only child, uh, so I did not have brothers and sisters. So um, anywhere I moved, I had to make friends, you know, pretty much new friends everywhere I went. Right. Um, I Gave me a really good um, open world view. I think um, it allowed me to see a lot of different cultures, and it, I think it shaped me that way a little bit. Um, I know we did a live stream uh, a few weeks ago. We were talking about this. I think because I've moved all over the world in so many different cultures, um, I would change my accents based on where we were going. I think I don't know, Andrew, if we we talked about that uh, a while back. I was trying not coy, but I was there in that chat. That's why I was bringing it up, hoping you would tell that story. <laughs> yeah, so anytime I, I talk to somebody that has a different accent, um, I, I have a tendency to go into that accent. Maybe they're from Romania, so I'll, I'll get a, a Romanian accent, or if they're, or I'll call I'll call Chinese food in, and I'll I'll sound it's Chinese. It's hilarious because I, I, you know, I won't hear the person on the other end, and I can hear him, and I'm like, okay, well, he's ordering Mexican. <laughs> he's ordering, yeah, he's ordering Mexican food, or he's ordering because you can just hear the accent. And I don't do it on purpose. It just happens. It changes like. Instantly, as soon as like heck, I was watching a YouTube video um, earlier about a guy from Finland, and I started sounding like Jean Claude Van Damme. Yeah, <laughs> it was crazy. I don't know. It's just weird. 
But anyway, uh, back to your original question. I, I think it made me a better person, I guess. Um, I didn't like moving every three years, especially the older I got and I started developing more friendships, real friendships. Each place I went, it became harder and harder each time we made the move. But I think in the long run, it was probably good for me. I think I, th I think it was more positive than negative. It was funny we talking about taking on like the dialects and stuff. We had the Donnie Shaw show on the other night. He's from the UK. And I was there two years ago. And I told him how I called my sister because my sister always talked with a British accent when we would joke around. And I said, you would never last five minutes in here because I've been here two, like a couple of days and I'm mortified how I'm talking even to myself. <laughs> and I don't want to. And it just keeps coming up. And I was telling Don, and I sound like an old version of Monty Python, Monty Python woman when I talk British. It's like, <laughs> you know, it's all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm you. <laughs> and I told that to Donnie and Donnie was laughing. He goes, I do the same thing. He goes, whenever I go to different regions, because they all have a different dialect to them. So he said, I'm doing the same thing in my own country. So don't. <laughs> That's well, we do the same thing. He, he I does the same here. thing. If we go to a different part of um, the United States, you know, if we go up north, he'll, he'll take on that um we go down farther south he gets really real uh, redneck sounding <laughs> redneck, <laughs> redneck southern sounding so yeah he um it's funny and, and i'll be like hello you're doing it again <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't it's not it's not purpose it's just coming out that way right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i call it fire no, so by the end of the stream are you going to be talking in my accent <laughs> yes, that's probably right. <laughs> <laughs> and what, it, even if he doesn't take on the accent, he will get like more proper, or his accent will just change. It, it's funny. He will. He'll change. To, it'll change. We we see uh, that a lot. Here. We see that a lot. Here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we see that a lot here because uh, in Quebec, of course, it's predominantly French, and I see the tourists and I watch them all the time and. They figure if they talk with a little bit of an accent, people will understand what they're saying. Because like, there's some French people don't speak any English, and for some reason they think they say, "I'm going to this door." They think all of a sudden that guy's gonna catch them just like that. There's gonna be no <laughs> language barrier. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it's like talking louder to someone who's hard yes. of hearing. Yeah, <laughs> treat them like they're on their deathbed. When it is, they just don't speak the language. You know. Yeah. <laughs> You mentioned that you were in the military. Did I hear you right? He's dead. Oh, my dad. My dad. dad. Yeah, yeah, my father. That's how come he so traveled. Today is your spe like a yes. special day for you then as well. Um, a little bit. Memorial Day is about the people that lost their lives. Um, we also have Veterans Day where we honor the people that have served. They're oh. still with us. Uh, the Memorial Day is more in remembrance of the people who gave the ultimate sacrifice. So that died during service. Okay, so it's two separate days. Okay, thank you. Uh, I wasn't familiar Sorry, with that. Sorry, I, I never thought. Poor, like, Xenia does so great at this. I forget sometimes that she didn't grow up here. And even for us, like, I mean, Canadian is different because we have Remembrance Day, but we don't have Memorial or Veterans. We should. It's not that it's wrong. I think we should have them. But I sometimes forget with her, and I feel like I leave her standing out on the pier sometimes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> She's ready to go, hey, help me out of here. here. <laughs> I'm just winging it, you know, yeah. but because she speaks – Quite good English. It's I yeah. kind of forget that you know it's not I, I kind of forget. No, I knew that. about Memorial Day even before we, I yeah. came over, but I didn't know that it only includes one one part of it. Uh, so thank you for uh, even people in America though don't always know that because like we drove by a place and it said you know thank you veterans and like no nope, that's wrong holiday. Wrong yeah, holiday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, house today. You have those sign number two and not sign number one under the shack to put up there. They just that's right. Up. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Good intentions, but yeah, sometimes that does happen. I mean, we see that here too. I find things get taken for granted. It drives me crazy. Because oh, yeah. I, I don't know if you guys know Quebec, uh, for a lot, I'm 44 years old, and a lot of my life there was a point where Quebec always wanted to separate from Canada. We've gone through referendums. Uh, we've had separation parties in trying to break it up. So I've been a pretty staunch federalist, I guess we would say, with my kids. Mm -hmm. because so much is not known because of that. It was almost like when I was growing up, it was really bad to put up a Canadian flag or put a Canadian flag on a, like a license plate or anything. You could have your car vandalized in a heartbeat. Oh, wow. wow. In 95, we were point, what was it, point nine something percent away from separating, like going through the process. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Yeah. I don't know American history. I'm, I'm much less. <laughs> okay. 
He's horrible. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't even know my own name. I don't know how he lives in this country. <laughs> <laughs> No, no excuse. <laughs> yeah. so I, I said we need to do a video sometime of, of me just asking him history questions. Oh, and, that would be a funny video. And, and right have him those Very funny video. We've had conversations and I think he does it just to rile me up. I would think so too. He's got a bit of a spark in him there. <laughs> we, have, we have a TV show uh, down here with, on our TV channels. Uh, it's called Drunk History, and P yes. and, and basically the host goes and, and and gets everybody sloppy drunk, and then asks them history questions, tells them to you know tell a story about George Washington. You don't have to get him drunk. You know, I don't need to get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Cut right the chase. I just ask the questions, and it's like drunk history. It's just like it yeah. really is. I've watched that show before. Oh, okay. I've seen about probably 10, 12 episodes of it. It's quite good. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll we'll call it sober history. Sober <laughs> there, history. You go. there you go. <laughs> The more prime time version of it that would be great. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. So, can uh, about you guys' channel because you haven't been on very long? You want to tell us a little bit about what got you started into YouTube? Um, yeah, um, wait, who are you pointing to me? <laughs> it's her idea. <laughs> well, um, yeah, I kind of came home and said, We need to start a YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, like, okay, pretty much that's um, all it was. No, I um. Yeah. I just thought it was a neat idea to, um, uh, I wanted some way to capture. I like to write and I like to take pictures, but I wanted a better way to capture what we do right. and our everyday life and capture it for us, but also to share it with other people. And we don't make a big deal about it, but um, there's a couple of things. Um, I have fibromyalgia. Oh, exactly. Uh, well. Oh, really? Oh. Okay. Syndrome and fibromyalgia. Yeah, and so you know, you know then what all that involves, and um, there's a lot of challenges that goes along with that. That um, we want to use the YouTube platform to try to show people that even though you've got these challenges, that that it, it's not the end. Uh, you just have to adapt and overcome, and 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 just come at it from a different direction. That's that's one of the, one of the things that we do with our channel. Yeah, and another one too was. Um, um, we, we don't have children. We weren't able to have children and, um, we want to make, we wanted to show too, you can have a family with two people. Uh, that's you know, a, you, wanted, like that. you wanted to have, yeah, I mean, we can have fun. We can do things. Yeah. You know, because I know there's a lot of people out there that don't have children that, that kind of feel a little bit left out, especially, you know, the percentage of families, you know, they have children, you know, and yeah. they, get, they feel like they get left out, um, that they don't get to socialize with these other friends of theirs because they have kids. Or they, whether they, they choose yeah. to have children or not. Right. Whether, yeah. or, I yeah. mean, whether it was their choice not to have children mm -hmm. or not. Um, yeah, ours was not a choice, but it, but it is what it is. So we, we just kind of accepted it, and, um, and we, we want to just kind of uh, encourage those out there that are kind of in the same boat that we are because you're not alone. I love that because that is right, and it is a thing that you know right away. And you don't have children. It's almost like this. Oh my God, poor you. My sister is somebody who's never wanted children from the day she. I can remember her teen thing that, and she never did. Now, she, like where you guys couldn't, they didn't. She didn't want to, and that was also with her. Is it doesn't make you any less of a life. It's it's can be just as meaningful. Kids don't make life, so you know. Uh, Mm -hmm. I don't know how to say it, but you know what I mean? Like, it's not the be all end all for having a happy life. And right. also your job, you've seen, and I know what it's like because my ex's uh, in laws were with the social uh, working, uh, the uh, foster home area. There's some people in this world that should have never had kids, and they yeah. didn't. <laughs> happy. Down the rabbit hole yeah. says families, would you make it? You define however you want. Uh, uh, Panic TV is raising hand for no kids and yep. uh, hello, uh, kilos and uh, he he heathens as, uh, as well. It's yeah, like that's right. There's that. a couple more uh, couples. So there's lots of couples uh, as well. <coughs> yeah, we've really connected with the halos and heathens. Uh, they're, they're great people, and uh, we've really enjoyed hanging yeah. out and talking with them and stuff. And uh, they're kind of in the same boat that we are as far as you know the, the children yeah. thing. They've got dogs, we've got dogs. Um, and I remember one time I commented, uh, uh, in, in a, I think they were doing a live stream or a video I watched. I said, you guys are the West Coast version of us. <laughs> so, and, uh, so pretty much they, we kind of hit it off that way. So what's up? Yeah. 
they're both they're both amazing. We love them. They're been oh, they yeah. one of our past guests as well, and they've been absolutely. I watched, I watched you guys on on their uh, their podcast, and that was a lot of fun too. So that yeah, was that was our nice. very first podcast we ever did. Yeah, that was awesome. So um, yeah, so we um, but that's where we started, and we were like, we just want to document this, and we want to document that life is fun, and um, and that there's ways to get out there and and have fun, and give people ideas of of things to do if you, if you don't have things to do and and just make people laugh and have fun that's it we just want to have fun i love it it's, it's pretty much what our channel is about having fun and enjoying life but you're so uh it's the chemistry between the two of you is just so amazing you guys oh, stop it. <laughs> stop it. <sighs> you are you're absolutely i grew up in a small rural area like i always said in eastern quebec and you guys remind me of back home all the time when i watch you guys <laughs> I, i've I, that kind of closeness you know genuine people just being themselves a very on that's what i love about what you guys do it's very honest it's not like a uh, let's oh let's uh, drop a cow today and have a laugh you know you guys just enjoy being you and i think that's what makes people like coming to watch you guys so much well, yeah, I don't want to drop a cow. That would be interesting. <laughs> I didn't mean a cow. Talk? Yeah, I know. I was, <laughs> I was inspired. Try <laughs> drop a llama. There we go. Alpaca. Jeez, I can't drop an alpaca, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to alpaca I'm over, I think. Oh, you tell us how you talk like me. <laughs> yeah, I know. Exenu, when she gets tired, she comes up with every expression that never existed and will make you scratch your head because she tries to <laughs> translate them from together, me. right? Oh and stuff it. like when the toaster flies west, always make sure that the cow doesn't dance <laughs> on your car. Like it means nothing to you whatsoever. Oh, never, <laughs> yeah. never, never. It's yeah. lost in translation. It's <laughs> lost in translation, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> you never translate an expression or a joke. That's the two things that will never go over well. Yeah, they don't work. <laughs> Anyways, in short, you guys are absolutely awesome. That's what I wanted yes. to say. <laughs> we, we, love, we, we just love doing what we're doing. We're, we're just having fun with it. And uh, we do live videos because they're fun. We do random videos because they're fun. We do travel videos. We love, since since we don't have kids, we can just jump in a car like on a, on a Saturday morning and, and go go out for a weekend or even for the day and just, yep. just travel and, and go see all of Tennessee or, or whatever. And we'll just, we'll just film it, you know, and, and, uh, and the, and we and we don't worry about numbers, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's one thing that we've made sure that we don't make it about. If that becomes our focus, uh, yeah. A couple times we're you know we start looking like okay, this is a and it's like we got to pull back and say yeah. it's not that's about not that. what it's about. It's just about us doing what we want to do. If the numbers are there, they're there. If they're not, then fine. We're gonna do it anyway. Yeah, we're gonna keep doing it anyway. Fresh <laughs> and build it, and they will come. And I, you know, so and I yeah. think. Uh, Doing pretty good at that. He also he doesn't was saying that they would love to have you on their podcast. Absolutely, we are waiting for you to say that. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah, uh, be great. Neil, Neil, just send me a Facebook message. We're fr we're friends. Me and Neil, me and Neil, we're friends on oh. Facebook. Yeah. So send me a Facebook message. We'll, your we're friends. Friends. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> your friends. Hey, your friends. I think you guys would be great on there. That would really be. A oh great yeah, that would be a lot of fun. I think that'd be great. Uh, speaking about jumping in the car on Saturday morning and going somewhere, uh, I was very uh, intrigued and watched uh, both of your videos about your birthday. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, birthday recently. Yeah, that was the mountains. That was something. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. We uh, we live about two and a half hours from Smoky Mountains, so we actually go up there fairly regularly. Uh, just we love that area. We've always threatened to move there. Mm -hmm. um, who knows? Maybe time will tell, mm -hmm. but uh, we love it up there. It's beautiful. Yeah, um, that was a fun weekend. Um, yeah. Renting those lenses, ooh, those were nice. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, uh, Martin uh, made a surprise. Yeah. I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did I you like it. that? <laughs> yeah, I, love it. Yeah. I loved it. I laughed it so much when you said, no, I couldn't keep the surprise. I told her yesterday. I can't do it. Can't do it. Yeah, he he surprised it, uh, surprised me and took me up to the Smokies and um, he rented me. You can actually rent lenses from this company, Camera Lenses. Um, what's is it? Rent uh, lens rent lensrental.com. Yeah, and um, so you can rent these lenses before you buy them or just to rent just, them. Just to rent them. Like I know a lot of professional photographers will rent them for like photo shoots and weddings and things because yeah, exactly. they all these really big expensive lenses 
So they'll just rent it for the weekend or for the week. Like uh, we're getting ready to go on a, on a big trip for about 10 days up to the Northeast part of the United States towards Maine and stuff. And we'll probably rent a lens or two for the 10 days. So yeah, oh, that's cool. That's... But he surprised me. We say that because he couldn't keep the surprise. I can't keep uh, secret. <laughs> he surprised me with it. So I got to take, take pictures all through the Smokies with these two great lenses. And, um, I got some great pictures of, I haven't put those up yet of elk. There's elk that they've reintroduced into the Smokies. Yeah, that, that's what I was going to ask you. I didn't think they were there. You that's have, no, I've got a, I've got a, oh, and a waterfalls. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Waterfalls. Uh, we saw a bear up there. We took some pictures of some bears, um, elk, people, oh. scenery. Yeah. Beautiful. beautiful yeah, they are. They were sure. nice. So did you enjoy your, your lenses? Yes. Are you now asking to buy it? Now she wants them. <laughs> yeah, now I want both of them. He was like, which one you want? I was like, both of them. <laughs> both of them. <laughs> I know. It's hard to let them go. That's famous them. That's famous man's last words. Which one do you want, knowing what the answer is going to be? Yes. Oh, we're yes. going to start a GoFundMe account right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like that. You heard your folk. Oh, donate to. He was asking for naked pics. Neil, mm. of course. Wait, what? <laughs> Neil is asking for naked pictures. Those will come through Facebook, Neil. See. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, Neil. Now, uh, talking about keeping secrets, a uh, uh, question. What has been the biggest secret that you didn't keep? I don't know. Is there any big secrets that I haven't kept? I don't know. That's a hard question. I don't know. Surprises, so to say. Surprises? Oh. Surprises um, that you did that I didn't keep that you didn't keep or did or did keep which one did you ask? Well, didn't you said on in your video that uh, you don't keep your uh, surprises too long that you're so excited that you just want to tell them. So I just wonder yeah. if has many any other surprises. No, no, that happens so often that I can't remember. Anything. Oh, you do. That's cool though. I love surprises. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Now he's really good at, at, at doing surprises too. Like he's really good with gifts. See, usually. <laughs> <laughs> he's really good with gifts usually. Like he 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 doesn't give me too many gifts early. So um, oh. I'm trying to think of anything else that you've just really I don't, I don't know. He he cannot do trips though. He cannot keep trips. Well, secret. I know that she she's a planner. I'm I could just just walk out the door and get in the car and go. She likes yeah. to plan. She that's just her personality. That's great because all of our trips are usually planned out really really well with with you know itineraries and staples and highlights and uh, and stuff, which is really great because it allows us to get a lot done uh, through those trips. Um, so I can't really, if I say, hey, we're going to go on a trip, but I can't tell you where we're going, it, it, it ruins everything for her because she gets really anxious that, uh, what if I don't have the right clothes or what if I don't have the right cameras or what if I don't have this or that or we got to get the puppies a place to stay or or whatever. Yeah, all the details all the that details. he doesn't think of. <laughs> now, now, for the birthday weekend that you watched that video of in the Smokies, I did everything. I he actually did. I, uh, I got the, 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 the resort uh, covered. I got the lens ordered early. I, I planned the entire trip and what we were going to do and where we would go. He was so proud of himself. I did good. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, that was amazing. I was smiling all the way through both videos when I was watching. <laughs> she was. She kept grabbing my arm and like getting all cuddly watching. She was know, so happy. You know. <laughs> Me as a photographer, you know, especially, I was like, oh my God, that's so amazing. <laughs> the NBA in general is so cute you know and I, I just loved it that was, i thought it was really sweet <laughs> and he did like all the video uh, videoing and uh, throughout the the trip trip like because she was playing with the camera the whole time so like, I, I had to do all the, all the yeah the so he, he didn't do he didn't make me do any of the video work or anything which usually we both are doing the video work um and yeah that she kind does of stuff. and uh when, when we do videos she'll video i'll video but she does most of the editing um just because she's so like I said, she's really good at it, and I'm not. I'm I'm not computer savvy. Oh. That requires him sitting still. That's true. If you notice, I move around a lot. I I'm very hyper. I, I don't. I don't. I think we got that in common, my friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I I well, editing I know I love to do. That's my favorite thing out of all of it. That's where I'm. Ha I I wish people were shooting for me and bringing the stuff. I would have more fun with it. Well, I think. What we'll do is we'll just start shooting video and we'll email it to you and have you edit our video. <laughs> I know. 
<laughs> and I realized when I said that, that's the third time I've said it, and everybody keeps saying that I'm going to end up working myself into a full time. <laughs> No, I like editing our videos. I, I she like she just now started working with Premiere Pro, and um, she's barely getting a hold of it. She's been using like an on phone app thing that's been doing pretty good for the most part. But I told her I said you've got to get in because I've used Premiere Pro a little bit. I'm not real good with it, but um, I said well, if you ever get started with Premiere Pro, get your get your wheels going. I think you. Really I've liked it so far. I've just got to learn. There's a lot to learn. That's what I do all my editing into. That's what I studied back in 2000. I kind of took a dip away from it for a while, but I just came back because it was the most familiar. Mm -hmm. uh, and plus, because it works with the Adobe Suite so well. Everything's so integrated with Adobe Audition for music, Photoshop, mm -hmm. and Illustrator. They all work seamlessly together. Right. And they're they all kind of set up the same, aren't they? What's that? They're all kind of set up the same. Yeah, they're, they're all under the same umbrella. There's a few differences, but like, you know, the layout is pretty much the same. And, uh, Say you're in Premiere and you want to uh, edit the audio in, a vi in one of your video clips that's on the timeline. You can literally just right click and go to Adobe Edition and it will like format the original, bring it up. You can make your changes, close it, and it will change it right on the timeline. It will, uh, you know, so you don't have to keep dragging back and forth and that. Yeah. Well, um, I've used it on the last few videos and I've liked don't, it. Don't so, it, yeah. Um, yeah. Just. It, it's just all new, you know, everything's new. And so it, it seems like it takes a lot longer, but it's getting quicker. So it will. It's like, a, it's anytime you take on a new program, it's an investment in time and it will slow you down, but yeah. it will, you will get a lot faster at it. And the only way to do it is to get in with both hands. And let me tell you, watch every YouTube video you've ever seen in your life. Cause there's so many of them today that are so good at explaining things from A to Z. There's two hour tutorials that start off with like, this is how you open it, like on your desktop, right? How to make a finished video. There's, and you can play it back and watch it as many times as you need to. That's kind of I started watching oh. and it like made a difference in like just the shortcuts that it showed me. Yes. Uh, you know, it was like, oh my gosh, this makes this like 10 times faster. <laughs> well, like she watched it like a seven minute video and she got like one little nugget of information, but it, but that was worth the seven minutes of watching. Yeah. It when, was you said, when you said shortcuts, I want to reach to the screen and hug you right now because people fight those things and you just did yourself the biggest favor you'll ever do yourself is to learn the shortcuts. Oh, she I'm like a shortcut. <laughs> I, I love, you don't? <laughs> <That didn't hurt. laughs> I use shortcuts like on everything, like when I'm writing documents, when I'm like, like I'm a shortcut person. I use shortcuts on everything. Okay, so what's your full name that I put on the plane ticket to get you up here? Now? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sorry, Mrs. Mark, you're gonna have to do without her for a couple of days. <laughs> Mrs. Alpaca. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Um, no, I've, yeah. got, I've got a friend of mine then he's he's like this computer genius when it comes to like vector files and working with um, Inkscape and things like that and he yeah. is the shortcut king and I can literally like draw a picture out give it to him and within like 10 minutes he has this thing blown up turned into a vector and done all this and he's just clicking it out there's flames and sparks flying <laughs> off the boards and it, it just it's like computer voodoo to me because I'm like um, email um, <laughs> where's the YouTube button there it is okay I'm watching videos now you're your own talents everybody has their own talents that's his and you've got yeah, your yeah. own you're just, there's a guy I, I, she said the other day that i'm the talent for the videos like you know i'm like i'm like the the, the humor part of it and then yeah, yeah. she can do everything else <laughs> well i mean he's the one like when we're somewhere and because it took me a little while when we were doing videos to be okay with filming in public yeah. like and doing like these videos where we're talking in public and those were very awkward. I'm a little more comfortable with it now. Um, but he would just go up and be like, Hey, can we film in your store? Yeah. Hey, can we film here? Do you mind? And yeah. uh, I'm like, Oh my gosh. I believe that 100%. He, he, I can see him taking the bull by the horns when it comes to the talent portion of the whole thing. Yeah, like, absolutely. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. And I love that. I'll, I'll let him jump out there and, and, and say, hey, we are uh, we are doing a YouTube channel in your store, by the way. And that's what's happening. Yeah, it's more <laughs> of telling them, but it's kind of like, I ask, you know. Kind of, I'm like, hey, we have a YouTube channel. You care if we video? I went so to, cool. I don't know if you saw our Walker Stalker videos. They were the, the Walking Dead convention. Oh, yes, I see uh, one of them. I, I'm okay. not all 
yeah, yeah, we're yeah, doing yeah, our yeah, research yeah. today. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, and so um, I mean, these are these are Hollywood celebrities. And we're going through the line to see them. And, and you pay money to get their signature and you pay money to get pictures with them and you pay this and you pay and that. And so he's like, hey, we have a YouTube channel. Would you mind saying something to the video here? And I'm like, oh my gosh, seriously? These are like famous people. And I'm like, I don't care. I may never see them again. <laughs> and most, most of them said no and two of them said yes. Yeah, so we so, have, so on, on one of our videos, we got two famous uh, walking dead people to, to say hi to the two alpagas. So that was kind of funny. Yeah, if you don't know. What are you going to lose? Right? Yeah, if the worst they're going to say is no. And that's, that's what I said. What are you going to do? Say no? Yep. It's not going to hurt my feelings because I, I, I get it. One of them said we're not, we're contractually not allowed to do that, but that's probably just his reasoning for being able to say no. But yep. I asked, so it, it didn't hurt. No. But See, you were talking about the shortcuts all going your front of the computer. There's a great example of it. See, I can do that stuff, but what you're doing there and vlogging, like even live stream, we thought we could never do this in a million years. But the idea of picking up a camera, walking into someplace, turning it on, turning it to me and talking terrifies the hell out of me. <laughs> the worst writer's block and stunned look in the camera I've ever seen. The deer, deer in the headlights, right? You're like, oh, 100%. 100%. Well, I say now. <laughs> but you can do that. So that's, I mean, that's a huge talent in my eyes. I'm jealous that you, I'm not jealous, but I I wish I could do something like that. Yeah. he And he can do it by himself. But like, I, I'll do it when he's there. Like, but he'll do it by himself if he has to. Yeah. Like, he doesn't care. He'll it's just cool. talk you I know, get to look the thing. Well, you know, let me tell you why. Because I'm an only child, and I grew up talking to myself. Yes. Okay. And, I, and, I, and that sounds kind of funny, but it, it's actually a lot of truth in that. Um, I had to, I had to entertain myself a lot, and so I, I sit and talk to myself. And I'd, you know, it's, it's, it's not so bad that I talk to myself. It's when I argue with myself that's the problem. <laughs> and uh, who wins? Yeah. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Xenny <laughs> was an only Xenny was an only child too, and she said she agrees with you on that. Yeah, so you have to you have to uh, entertain yourself in your mind, and 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 it, it's a, it's I think it's a thought process for me. It's it's a little bit different. She grew up with two siblings. She has two si two younger sisters, and she she was always the oldest child. She had to be responsible. She had to watch out for them because they were four years and five years younger than her, and so she had to play that role a lot. For yeah, me, yeah. I didn't. I, I just do whatever I want to do. Yeah, that's good though. Hey, it, it all builds character, you know. And I mean, look what you can do today with it. So it, there's always a win into something, and you are well, good at it. And, well, and you. you talked about our chemistry. I think that has a lot to do with it too. Um, of course, me being in psychology and stuff, I think about like the how uh, sibling order plays a part in chemistry a lot of times. Like and, and older siblings with only children work really well right um, what <laughs> it's not true we don't we don't, we don't get along at all <laughs> I, I, I was waiting for him i could tell the sparkle in his eye i get to learn his cues his eye always twitches a little here when he's yeah. done there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah no, so, we, get, we get for the most part we get along pretty good but i think things like that where you know um my my thing is order and consistency and you know that kind of stuff, and his is more chaos. And it, <laughs> she used the word chaos in, in a good yeah, way. Yeah. I mean, you know, in a good way. Well, it's like Paul Abdul, opposites attract, right? <laughs> I love it. I love it. He always gets to somewhere I never picture it coming from. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That's very true. Yes. I love when you do that. By the way. Because you guys have that wholesome, like, you know, kind of Tennessee laid back talk. And then you'll hit people with stuff that they never seen coming in a million years. I, that's what I think makes you so great that way. <laughs> You're like a pressure cooker that's always got to spit yeah. a little bit on the side. There's stuff going on inside, and it just has to come out somewhere. That's right. You need an outlet. <laughs> and that's YouTube. And that's your time. You can't, you can't contain all that fabulous just inside you. It's got to come out somewhere. It's got to come out. It's got to come out. Yeah. <laughs> So we, we we feel each other's gaps a lot, um, which is really good because the, <laughs> where, I, where I lack, she's really awesome at, and then vice versa. You know, I get her out of her comfort zone a lot, mm -hmm. and, and she, which is good. And then she reels me back in, you know, because <laughs> if 
her, I'd probably be in jail or something. <laughs> and, and oh, we don't know what you're talking about at all here. So don't. <laughs> I get no idea what you're talking about, but I'll listen anyways. <laughs> <laughs> you guys there's a lot we always say the more cup especially couples we have on yeah every one of them we always say the same thing about halfway through it's amazing the similarities and that's when you get to talk to more people you just realize we always have so much of the same dynamics with people in Definitely. general there's more common things that are uh, different things i think among well especially for being on youtube because we're already kind of putting ourselves out there a bit. So I think that kind of already gives you a little bit more to have in common than some of the people you might meet day to day or a better mm -hmm. chance of having more in common. Yeah, uh, I think so. You know, because we aren't exactly wallflowers. Even if we're quiet, shy, there's something that at some point said, you know what, I'm going to go in front of a camera that could reach the world even, you know. Right. Something there that... Oh, oh. we're losing you. We're losing you guys. You see us now? No, it wasn't that we couldn't hello? see you. Your voice was starting to break up. Yeah, we can hear you good now. Okay. Well, hello. Maybe we just quit talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, wasn't it good you turned a little robotic for a minute. <laughs> I'm so stop. <laughs> yeah, are you going to pick up that <laughs> dialogue now, though? <laughs> Don't <Dream. be> <laughs> He's going to visit C-3PO and then start talking. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. So the name <laughs> two alpacas, we gotta get to that one. What? The name two alpacas. Where did this come from? Okay. Um it? so um I This is a really, really long story. No, it's not. It's actually you can really simple. as long as you want. Don't worry. We <laughs> oh, actually it's pretty simple. Um we um uh, I went in to buy I collect stickers from everywhere we go. So okay. I wanted a notebook to put those stickers in. So I went into a bookstore, Books a Million, and to get a journal. And I was looking at the journals and I saw a journal with two alpacas on it. And um okay. when that was about the time I I was thinking about the YouTube channel and we were talking about YouTube channel. And prior, and prior to YouTube, we have been doing Facebook for a while. We do Facebook live videos. We do giveaways on our Facebook personally. Um, and we've been doing those kinds of things, making videos for Facebook for, I don't know, last year or so. Yeah. And, um, and she's like, you know what? We should call ourselves the two alpacas. And as soon as she said that, it just stuck. It's like, yeah, that's perfect. I so, love that. No, it came from a, a, the front of a journal. That's so cool because it's a very interesting name and based where you guys are, and I like it because it's a little bit of mystique in the whole thing. That's why I was really curious where it comes. It's a really great channel name, by the way. Once Thank again. you. Yeah. And we thought that that sounds like traveling animals, alpacas, you yeah, know. Yeah, alpacas, they're, 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 they're pack animals. Yes, <laughs> exactly. And it's not like the local, you know, the local farmstead animal, you know what I mean? That's why I liked yeah. it. It, it. It's a bit out of the box. I think it was a really, really great idea for a channel name. Thanks. Thanks. We like it. Her, her idea, so she gets all credit for that. <laughs> well, well, good we work. We found these at a store. They're These are pictures of alpacas here. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I've been watching them for the last 20 minutes off and on. My eye keeps going to them. I love yeah, those Yeah, for pictures. the Twitter. This, this is the weird one oh, yeah, right here. He oh, says this is him. <laughs> kind of a bit of a character into it. I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. <laughs> yep. Have you ever thought about getting some alpacas? <laughs> Give me the yeah, next one. Actually, um, we we currently we just sold our, our 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 house about well back in six December. Six months ago. Yeah, yeah, about six months ago, back in December, um, and we moved into a small townhouse. So obviously, the landlord probably wouldn't like us to have alpacas in a townhouse. <laughs> but, uh, just saying. Um, but we, we we thought about buying some land and building a house uh, here, maybe in a couple of years, and so that may be down the road. Cool. Yeah, definitely. Because I've seen, and now that we name, uh, use the name, the two alpacas, I've started looking at pictures of baby alpacas. If you want to oh. see something adorable, look at baby yeah. alpacas. Oh, yes. Look at oh, baby gosh. alpacas. And if you want to see something funny, type in running alpacas. Oh, oh, yeah. If you watch an alpaca run, it's like this. Drink, 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 drink. <laughs> so yeah. Well, yeah, we not so long ago actually we passed yeah. a, a farm uh, where they had alpacas down in uh, east uh, below Montreal towards the Vermont border. We took the kids out uh, skiing for the day. There's a lot of maple sugar camps around there, and one of them had alpacas. They had yeah, 
Cool. And different colors. They yeah. had brown and in spots and white and, and yeah. black. There was whole different kinds and lots and lots of them. It was very our daughter nice. wanted to bring one home yes, with us, just course. put it in the car with us and go, oh, you so know. <laughs> of course. Yeah. It's like shopping for a Furby, you know, nothing big. <laughs> just <Yeah. laughs> she's a bit of a animal baby's nut, so yeah. <laughs> So the, no, but I, I do. I think that's really cool. That would be amazing if you guys can get some. That would just like top the whole channel. Top it off. Yeah. Um, we've we've we we know uh, a friend of ours knows some people that have an alpaca farm. So we may end up doing a video going out to the alpaca farm. So we may we may post that up here this summer. I think it's a great. Oh, idea. That's really cool. Yes. Yep. Oh. Alpacas. Uh, oh, we paused again. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, your connection a little in and out, but it wasn't. Uh, yep, we can hear you now. Yeah, here we go. It's maybe glitching for some reason. Oh, that's okay. We're still conversation still flowing, so mm -hmm. not a problem. I can still hear you. <laughs> so, but that would be really cool if you get out to the farm and do that. Yes, I think that definitely. Would be really great. Some live pictures of you with the live ones. You gotta find the ones in the farm that resemble you guys' personality, much like the like you're saying. Yeah, with exactly. We actually have a really cool video slash picture idea, and I'm not gonna share it with everybody because I'm gonna keep it a surprise. But uh, we're yeah, it, it, it'll be it, it'll be a fun video if we ever get around to putting it together. But I like that. I, I mean, we don't know what it is, but you intrigued me, so we'll definitely. <laughs> do it. it's, it, it's a pack, it's an alpaca lookalike video. Is what it is. Oh, that would be amazing. Yeah. yeah. That's a great idea. Yeah. It involves me filming more than anything. Yeah. It involves I love, me I love, you. I love your energy and passion for doing this. Like, you guys really, uh, you know, it's not just turn on the camera and go. You guys really put a lot of thought into it. And I think that's nice to see. Yeah. Wow. I'm glad you think so. Because we really don't. <laughs> yeah. Well, you we were just fired a moment ago. As much effort as we could into yeah. it sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but. That's Sometimes That's, we'll forget that, oh, yeah, you know what? Well, this would probably make a pretty good video, and we'll turn it on halfway through whatever trip we're in. And we're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's okay. That's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Sometimes we prepare really well. We yeah. did a live video on the way to the Smokies. We did. Um, during that trip, which was hilarious because we um, – I was like, okay, well, we'll up and we'll do a live video. And I'd got a new ex external mic, and so we set that up. And I had it all like it was perfect. And he come out and he's like, "This isn't gonna work." <laughs> and he was like, "I was like, no, it's perfect. Everything's like I had the, um, the gorilla pod, gorilla pod, all fixed." He backs up and it goes like this. It falls down. I didn't think about the weight <laughs> of the front of it. God. So I go into it, I grab this giant Ziploc bag and I fill it full of sand and I throw it down on the, the tripod and boom, off. There we go. So I love it. So it looked good. really just horrible on that side. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should see as we're driving down the road in our dash, it looks like uh, this monster robot hanging out on our dashboard. People driving by going, what in the world? <laughs> it was great. But well, it was we did a there. great live video. Oh, yeah, we had a great, great live video. In fact, Halos and Heathen was on there. They were cooking, I think. Well, <laughs> yeah, Poly the Polynesian vlogger Shane, he was on there. What's up, Shane? Uh, yeah, I love Shane. He's great. We love Shane. We did a video. I don't know if y'all saw that. Of uh, we did a parody of uh, of Shane, the Polynesian vlogger. We did a parody video. Did you Did y'all see that? Uh, I don't think so. Well, you need to go watch that. That's that. We had a lot of fun doing that one. We we. Uh -huh. um, Definitely. <laughs> we made fun of Shane. Not made fun of him, but you know how I have the different accents? Yeah. yeah. Well, I on Shane's accent, I put a Hawaiian shirt on and I did a whole thing. Ate some a whole, gummy bears. Ate gummy bears. I did the oh. whole thing just like his video. So it was, it was a lot of fun. Oh, we definitely got to check that out. That's, that's a given. So It was great. Oh, yeah. I loved it. I like, yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just put a link in the chat too. Yeah. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> that was that was fun. the hard part with Xenia and I. They say probably as you guys are couples, like I'll add somebody to our channel that she doesn't know about, and then they'll come here and she'll welcome them as if they've never seen them before. I've watched three of their videos, and vice versa, because we always split up the work when it comes to this. So we're constantly putting our foot in our mouths, you know, like, oh, it's so good you found us. And like, well, I've been here three times already. <laughs> you know, like, Damn it. Well, so like, like, if you ask if we've seen somebody, he's like, yeah. And I'm like, Oof. oh, well, I've not seen them. <laughs> we, we got to where now on videos, if we're commenting on videos and stuff, we'll put our names at the end of the comment because yeah. people 
know if it's me or her or both of us. And that so, way, if I go, oh, welcome, and, and he's like, I've been talking to this person for like a week now. I've been on like five videos of theirs. <laughs> I don't want to put my name because i got a bad memory, so I don't want to commit that. <laughs> That's my out in case I forget. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you don't put your name, you can always blame the other person. One hundred percent. I never did that. I love it. That, that is nice. a good point. Oh, oh, you're back. Okay. <laughs> no, we lost okay. you for a second. <laughs> no, um, uh, I said, yeah. yeah. Okay, you, you go have ahead. a question? No, you go first. Okay. Uh, I noticed also that uh, you have uh, started a different uh, uh, types of challenges on your yes. video. How is that going? And where is the future with it? Oh. <laughs> um, you're talking about um, Transformation Tuesday? Yes. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Um, this is something that I, I kind of had cooking in my mind for a few weeks. Um, transformation can take place physically, mentally, spiritually. And, and, and I wanted to do a short videos once a week to challenge myself. Um, she may jump in on some of them. I, I don't know. Um, but it's just something that I wanted to do. And, um, and so for the first one, I just put out there that I'm going to do 50 pushups a day for the next 30 days. And so, um, of course, tomorrow's video is kind of an update of how that's going, and I'll add another challenge to it or another uh, transformation component to it. Maybe it's me reading a book. Maybe it's, um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Just something. <laughs> that won't happen. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I read all the time. No. But, but I, I read history book. I, I want to become a better person. So um, I'm just try challenging myself physically, mentally, spiritually, and those kinds of things. So, yeah, you're focusing. It's going in and out and in and out. I wasn't telling you to stop or anything. I just said, yeah, well, well, that's enough. Okay, no spiritual stuff on this channel. <laughs> oh, oh my God. What are y'all laughing? You're laughing at me again. I get that a lot. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway. You said oh, that was artists. so funny. Oh, that was so funny, yeah. So I just <laughs> wanted to ask, how is it going with the push-ups? Uh, it's like, going uh, great. I've done 50 push-ups every day, except for one day I fell asleep and I didn't have them done. <laughs> I woke up the next morning and go, oh, I forgot to do my push-ups. Uh, oh, but for oh. most part, yeah, it's going good. Um, and I, I, I challenged myself to do 50 because I know that that was an attainable goal for me. I wanted to I – wanted because uh, – I've always been very athletic, very um, outgoing, very physical. Uh, I was a competitive gymnast growing up. I played soccer. Um, I've always been into extreme sports, rock climbing, mountain biking, and all that stuff. And uh, over the last few years, you know, just with work and life in general, you just kind of get lazy and you just kind of get out of sync. And, and I can feel it in my body. I'm getting older. I'm 42 years old. And so I just kind of wanted to kind of get back out there a little bit and uh, challenge myself to be a little bit better physically. And then uh, again, I'm also going to use uh, you know spiritual and mental things uh, uh, along the way each week and dropping new things uh, each week. So uh, look for that coming up tomorrow. Wow, that's uh, interesting. It's a great way, a great yeah. way to mix like self growth and the YouTube community and everything together into one. I always like if it, if it challenges somebody to to get out there and they want to join me with the challenges, come on, do it. You know, um, and it may be something as simple as just drinking more water. Yep. Um, because you know, I'm, I'm, I drink coffee all the time and, and I just don't drink enough water. So I, that may be tomorrow. You never know. Uh, it could be reading more books. It could be, uh, praying more or whatever. It could just be lots of things. So that's, that's what Transformation Tuesday is about. I, I could that. jump on the drinking more water challenge because I definitely don't drink enough water. So if you do that one, tag me in. <laughs> all right. You got it. I used to drink a ton of water until somebody got me hooked on coffee at yeah. the ripe old age of 43. Somehow she decided to give me a new vice in life. Yeah, I only started because of you. <laughs> yeah. I moved to Canada and I had to drink it because of the time difference. She was falling, falling asleep, asleep all the time because it's seven hours time difference. Oh, wow. So, at the dinner table. So, yeah, so she got drink coffee. But years later, so I don't think it works. Anymore. What happened is, is my parents, we travel a good bit. One place is my parents is 850 kilometers. So that's what, 550 miles, I guess. And uh, in Latvia, like most of Europe, if you go 80 kilometers, you had to stop and have a picnic and take pictures. It takes them like eight hours to get there for a, an hour long drive. But what she got here, <laughs> she got a real taste of what it's like to travel in North America. Because yeah. even like, like Canada versus the States, we're only divided into 10 provinces. So you could <laughs> drive for, you know, 
something like Quebec and Ontario, you can easily put in a thousand miles and still be in the same state or province as the same province. So she wasn't used to this at all. And she realized I do like one bathroom break because I used to be a truck That's driver it. years ago. So <laughs> she was baptized by fire. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> So she later realized that she got me drinking coffee that I might pull over more, and I guess it worked. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a good idea. <laughs> oh, yeah, it just turned me into, like, one step away from a crack addict with coffee, but other than that, <laughs> it's yeah. You know, we do drink uh, too much coffee and too little water now, yeah. so definitely. I'm, I'm trying. I have tried different apps and stuff, but I forget. I just press the button and put it away and don't drink water. Like, you can just drink one cup for one cup. That's going to make a big difference. One cup of water for one cup of coffee. If you know, if you drink thirty-two ounces of coffee, then drink thirty-two ounces of water. At least that's a good trade-off. That's yeah. a good idea. You know. I, I, I got to do it, especially in the summer. I have to. I don't know how. Because I loved water. I would drink it by the barrel, and then when I started drinking coffee, now I drink. I got to force myself to drink it, and that's too bad because I was always drinking more than enough. Yeah. I drink mine's water. Yeah, she's water. She drinks so much water, which is great. It's, I mean, she definitely has no problems drinking water. See, I used to be on your side. I used to be with you. I, I say I know what you mean. Welcome to the dark side you are. He's, right. <laughs> He's trying to drink the dark side for years. I love that. Oh, my God. That was so unexpected and so amazing. <laughs> You should do voiceovers or something yeah. like that. Yeah. I, I love doing voices. I do all kinds of voices. Yeah, yeah it's great. I got, you can do a good Kermit. I can do, I do a better uh, Scooby-Doo and Shaggy. Like, hey, Scoop, like, let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah. I could have used you the other night when I did my Scooby opening. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Scooby -dooby -doo. Oh my God, that was good. That was really that good. That was perfect, actually. If I had my eyes closed, I would have never even guessed it was you doing it. <laughs> He's really good at that. You guys are a couple that, if you're on an island and it was just the two years, I think you like you know you that old thing. I did. No, <laughs> she would kill me. Just, she would just flat out kill me because no. there's nothing else to watch. You know, no, she finds you too amusing by that part. You maybe push it too far with her sometimes, and that lasts a couple of minutes, but she wouldn't be able to live without it. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah, that way. I got a Dr. Phil moment going here. <laughs> <laughs> I think guys who wants me to make them cry next. <laughs> I gotta bring a lost long uncle, someone to come out on stage. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. <laughs> as long as you don't turn into the Jerry Springer show, we'll be okay. Oh yeah, no, no, there's no worries about that. That's not happening. <laughs> That we're not gonna cross that boat. <laughs> cross that boat. Oh my god, I'm talking I like you tonight. Talking. <laughs> you put in my I wasn't gonna say anything. But, you know. I'm not making sense anymore. You finally won me over with your expressions. <laughs> Jeez. I used to be able to talk. I used to be interesting, folks. <laughs> oh, thank you. What was that? <laughs> Did you just call you, me uninteresting? You're a girl with an accent. They find it cute. Did you just call me? <laughs> <laughs> a, 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 a guy cute. does it as senile. There's a difference. The Russian accent apparently is not cute. So and now you called me uninteresting on top of that. So. Right. <laughs> hmm. No, he's not even denying it. I don't know. He's not. <laughs> not even this is the last Pusha Studios live event. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Here we go, folks. You caught the last one. <laughs> Join us for divorce court tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Pusha's channel? <laughs> Live from court tomorrow. Court. Every little detail about divorce and otherwise. <laughs> oh, oh my God! I, I, I got it first. <laughs> oh my God! What the, the hell happened? I know. What is there okay. to say? I'm just gonna say something that doesn't make fact sense. Fact is a fact. Yeah, She's so uninteresting. So. <laughs> <laughs> what is that done? I said because you have an accent and you're female, it's charming. I do it. It sounds yeah. Senile. It's so like one of those that, uh, so. uh, Raymond. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everybody loves saying, Raymond. Yeah, yeah. yeah, The more you talk, the more further the thing. Goes. See, she does that all the time. She even brings up shows or music that uh, nobody should ever get by the clue <laughs> she gives you. You know the one with the song and the drum comes on. <laughs> And we've been together so long, I sometimes get it, and it terrifies the hell out of me because I got it right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Listen to our conversations, and, and people can't understand it. 
Yeah, well, that's it. It's your own I, language. What happens is when, when, you, when you're together so long, I, like I said, we've been together since 96. Um, we, we just kind of have a lot of inside stuff that goes on in the background. And, of course. And, and she can just say one thing, and I know already what she's talking about. You know? What <laughs> if <laughs> he that? Like, he, 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 his face wipes. I'm sorry. It's so humid in here tonight. Oh, my God. we got to get the air conditioning in. Oh. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I would die. Yeah. Montreal gets the same, like that's what we were saying the other night. People don't realize it, but in Montreal we get the hot and the cold of both extremes. In the in Celsius in the winter, we get minus 40s Celsius, but we also get plus 40 Celsius here. That means so, nothing to me. I have no idea about the metric system. I know, I know. And I'm good, I'm good at pounds. I can do everything else I can convert F. except for temperature. I'm horrible. F. I need mean Fs. <laughs> yes, yes, Xenia. Oh, I thought Xenia was translating it for me. <laughs> There, there, no, there, there. She's completely checked out of this particular live stream. She's just going to go like, out with the other she's people. Like oh, the she's people. trying to make me fail, folks. She people. wants to show I'm senile, so you're watching it here. Uh, she's like, you're on your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sink, man, sink. Uh, in the winter times, if we can get the about that can't be right. Yeah, 104. No. Fahrenheit. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty hot. That's hot. Yeah, we get minus 40 Fahrenheit in the winter, and we get the, what is it, plus here. I'll just delete it. I just want to make sure I get it right. Yeah, so 104 or or minus 40. It goes wow, those are that. big extremes. Those are really extreme. And it's humid here. It's the same humidity level as, like, Miami and those places. Because Montreal's an island. We're surrounded by the St. Lawrence Rivers, the seaway. So wow. that adds to the humidity so much. That's why. It's literally like an oven here in the summer. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. With the fiber mountain and stuff, I, I, I dread every time the summer here. It's so humid. Yeah, that's yeah. True. Yeah, she's the same way. Yeah. It gets really, we're in middle Tennessee, and we're surrounded by lakes all over the place, and, and it's really humid here, too. Um, yeah. I don't know if it's as humid as it is there, but it, it's it's very humid. You can walk outside, and it's like, like it hits you right in the face when yep. you walk outside, and then it just you feel wet all day. Yep, that's right. That's right. Yeah, and that's it's such an, an uncomfortable feeling. Mm -hmm. You know, for your clothes or anything, it's fine if you're in the car all day and then you go right into an air conditioning building and then back mm -hmm. home. But if you have to do any amount of stuff outside all day, it is an uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. And he he works outside, isn't it? Yeah, I do automotive photography for a living. I work for a company where we go to dealerships and we do take pictures of all the cars and put all the information on their websites for them. And so I'm outside all day, every day. Oh, so that's, that's cool. cool. I want to know more about yeah, that. Yeah, that's because we didn't get to touch that at the beginning. So since you brought that up, you want to go into that a bit about how you got into it and everything? Well, I got into it by making that little uh, segue there. That's how I got into it. Uh, oh, no, no, nothing. Oh, okay. Um, actually, um, <laughs> 14 years, I was, a, um, I was a gymnastics coach is what I did for a living uh, for 14 years. I, I told you earlier that I was a competitive gymnast growing up. No, then, that you didn't mention that too much. I remember it from your live stream, but I don't think you mentioned it here. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, I was, I, I competed in gym. My mom was a gymnastics coach. I competed in gymnastics for a while. Um, and then I got out of it for 15 years, 20 years. And then I, when I came back and I became a gymnastics coach for about 14 years. And, I, and, and that was a lot of fun. I got to work with a lot of kids. Um, and then about three years ago, one of the parents of a kids that came to the gym that I was working at says, hey, I have a job for you if you want it. And he told me what it was. And um, it was going to allow me the opportunity to not have to get home at nine o'clock every night. Because when you're working with kids in the yeah. afternoons, after school, everything goes later. So I would work. <clears throat> I would actually start work at eight o'clock in the morning doing some preschool stuff. And then I would uh, work all the way to about eight or nine o'clock at night. And I, we never got to see each other. Um, but, uh, so, so my current boss now, you know, offered me this job that I could go and be home at, you know, four o'clock in the afternoon, which is unheard of for me. So, so that was great. So what I do is, um, I work for a company called auto uplink here in Tennessee. And we, uh, basically we are the information gatherers for automotive dealerships. And, uh, we have field agents that go to the car dealerships and, uh, we take the pictures of the cars and we also, um, gather all the information about the car, whether it has serious radio or uh, tinted windows and what color they are and the mileage and all that stuff. And we, we upload all that to their website and uh, a bunch of other websites. So that, uh, basically that's what I do. And, and you, you like doing it? Oh, it's great. Yeah, it's, it's a great job. Love it. 
And how do you work? Like, are you a team, like two that go everywhere, or you do? No, hard- everybody basically has what they call a route, and um, they're assigned certain dealerships, like uh, close to their home. You know, maybe uh, one guy will have a local Ford dealership or a Chevy dealership. Um, they may have three or four dealerships in their town, and um, so they'll just get up in the morning. They'll go to the dealerships, find the cars that need to be taken pictures of, and they'll do it, and then they'll upload all that stuff in the evening. And and my and my job, I'm a manager. And I actually go and I may, I oversee all these people that are doing the work. Oh. And also fill and also filling in when they're sick or going on vacations, things like that. So I have to go out and do the, the photography too. Uh, but I do less of that now because I'm kind of traveling around. Is there a, a specific uh, way that you do automotive photography? Um, we have, yeah, kind of. There's a process. Uh, for instance, like for each dealership is a little bit different. They want to see things, special pictures. Uh, but in general, we'll take you like eight or 12 pictures of the outside. We'll walk around the car and take pictures of different angles. And we'll right. take a picture of the wheels. We'll take a picture of all the interior shots of the radio and the speakers and the seats and the uh, any kind of special bells or buttons or whistles or whatever it has in the car. And um, yeah, that's yeah, pretty much it. I have uh, Wise, Wiseman Creek Studios here says, uh, and we were going to mention it as well. I'm glad I brought it up. Welcome, by the way. Uh, please yeah. Music Mondays. Yeah, I, I agree. Like- oh, new Music Mondays. <laughs> those things. We have a lot of fun with those. We, um, We've been doing those for quite a while now. Um, new Music Mondays started out where I would find a really random song, and I would play it for, for Lara, and she would have to try to figure out who, the, who it was or the name of the song or just you know anything about the song and we and then we started doing them live and instead of me finding stuff for her we but we found stuff that neither one of us had heard and we just look for the most wackiest craziest video or music that we can find and we show you guys <laughs> yeah that's a great idea though i mean you yeah. guys are really good at coming up with these things because everybody's kind of doing a lot of the same stuff not everybody but there's certain games that just keep floating around but you guys always tend to give it your own spin yeah yeah well, we love music. We both play. Yeah. Um, he's a piano player, and I play guitar, and we love music. And so we were like, that's a great way to incorporate, you know, music into this. And yeah. and we have found some crazy stuff. If you've watched any of them, oh, some of them are way out there. Way uh, but that's great. great. It's like a scavenger hunt. And you also get some co- uh, conversation going in the comments yes. there sometimes, too. When people- and, that's, yes. and that's why we started doing it live, because a lot of the people that are watching our, our live video, when we do a new Music Monday, this, they, they love, they're like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe that, or that's crazy. And yeah. we're going to get the feed off of that, and, 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 it, and it helps. Yes, definitely. We're not sure, but we're hoping we're going to have another Manic Monday soon. I don't know if you guys caught the oh, last definitely. one. There was uh, myself and Neil and Rick from the Corn Life Network. Uh, like I play guitar, Neil plays guitar. Uh, Rick was on with his box drum. We had Nathan likes drums with his drum kit, and we were on for about three hours, and we were all playing together and taking turns and talking music and stuff like that. You guys will definitely have to be in the next. Yeah, I didn't see that. That sounds fun. It was. Oh, it was, yeah. it was uh, jamming away, and we we'll definitely have uh, Art of Morbid uh, wanted to come yes, on. Yes, Art of Morbid as well. As well. We have, mm-hmm. Definitely, that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> I, used to, just I don't know if you guys knew that I worked for a music company for years, but I also used mm-hmm. to be a drummer, and then I was a guitar player and stuff. So, so. Mm-hmm. Awesome. yeah, my dad was. Uh, even though I grew up in Quebec, my dad, which is really big here right now in in the eastern part, is he's a huge bluegrass fan. Mm-hmm. I mean, oh yeah tiresomely large bluegrass fan i love my father and i don't know but <laughs> after hours and hours and hours sometimes you lose your appreciation for a few moments and they have like a big bluegrass festival and he's gonna use the first one with his trailer there every year that's his big thing is to go to that and so it kind of grew up with like you know him playing mandolin and stuff like that oh yeah that's all awesome. yeah we got we got a huge bluegrass community oh, yeah. you guys are right in the heartland of it. kentucky is known as the bluegrass state Yep. And it bleeds down into Tennessee. We're right just, just south of, of Kentucky. Like we're, I think we're, what, an hour from Kentucky, if that? 45 yeah, minutes to an yeah. hour? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're, we're very close to Kentucky. So we it's all around us. That's what I was saying. That's why I was bringing it up. You guys are right. In the, I, I was down in you guys' area years ago a decent amount. I used to, When I was a truck driver, I did a lot of, of course, eastern seaboard. So I'd be down that way a lot. I got caught leaving Kentucky one time with uh, six bottles of gin and rum. Oh. <laughs> I got caught by the DOT and they pulled me over. And back then it cost me $600. They impounded the truck for 24 hours. And it was the 22nd of December and I was trying to get home for Christmas. 
Oh, oh no. no. Yeah. So anybody who says they can get cheap alcohol in Kentucky is cheap until you get caught with it. And then believe me. <laughs> it's really, really expensive. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> good memories. Good memories. Uh, <laughs> is, uh, yes, Music Monday says that to alpacas. Where do you guys find those videos? Um, a lot of times I will just type in weird music or crazy music or something like that on Google. Um, I found a, um, we'll put it in Google or we'll put it in YouTube, YouTube search engine. Um, yeah. search engine. um but, um, I found like I put in weird music in Google and got like a list of the 10 weirdest songs and um so there's there's list of these things out there so evidently other people are looking for this stuff too oh, yeah <laughs> well, how do you think Sounds there is a market like... for everything since the internet opened up a lot of people who thought they had these little quirky things to themselves are realizing now there's like the american association of crazy music you know yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah. and they meet in arkansas twice a year for a convention or they meet in kansas or wherever it's unbelievable no, no, if, it's, if it's wacky it's probably tennessee <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, yeah. I, lo I love you guys there you know something that's one thing when i was driving truck i found with some of the nicest people was down in you guys area whenever i'd stop you know stop truck stops or wherever or take a load in it was the most friendly kind people at some of the i because uh, growing up by eastern canada is a lot like that too the atlantic provinces is very down home very friendly and the, that same feeling was down you guys way as well i found yeah it, it is it's a very yeah, for the most part, you're going to get a lot of a lot of hospitality. Yes, yes, I agree. Very and much. Go, and, and people will go out of their way to help you. Um, I have to be careful helping people because I, I have a tendency to make it worse when I help people. Let me tell you a story about a time I helped a little ten year old pump his bicycle tire up at the gas station. He couldn't figure out how to get the little air air thing on the the, the nozzle for the his tire. You right. know, this, this machine you put the quarter in, it goes, ng -ng -ng -ng, and the compressor kicks on. And so this little kid, he cannot, for, cannot figure out how to pump his tire up. So I'm like, I'm going to be Martin's like, I'm going to go help him. I'm going to help him. I got this. I got oh. this. I can, I, can, I can do this. So I go over there, and I put the nozzle on on the thing. The compressor's running. And I'm like, ng -ng 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 -ng. I'm sitting in the car going, that's a lot of air <laughs> in that tire. <laughs> so you know where this is going. About 10 seconds later, la, 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 boom. Oh. <gasps> The tire explodes. I mean, explodes everywhere. This poor little kid is, he's like, who knows how far from his house with a bicycle. Oh, now, not just a flat tire, but a blown tire. Oh, so what do you do? I was like, uh, do you want me to take you to your house? I, and of course, he was smart enough not to get in my car. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but uh, so I blew up his tire. So I give I give the guy 10 bucks and said, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I walked away. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. And, I, and, and he then, lived right across the street. Fortunately, he wasn't. He didn't live there. He just said he lived down the street, so that was good. But I, I do that all the time. I end up overhelping. Well, the heart's in the right place. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, I, I always <laughs> tell him, "Be careful." <laughs> so I've got to where I, I say, "Hey, can, should I help this guy?" And she's like, "No, no, you no, should not. No, 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 not at all." Because oh. he did something else. I can't remember, but something else, and he yeah. told her something. I, I've done it several times. Yeah. Oh, God Almighty. That, <laughs> any more helping stories? Because these are really good. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll just leave it at that. No, no. I insist, <laughs> if you think of any, I insist you cut me off in mid sentence and tell them. <laughs> I cannot stress this enough. Think there, was, there was one specific other one. Yes. I don't remember what it was about. Do you even remember? I have the worst memory ever. I don't know if it's from my past or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Just, Same yeah. as you. Don't worry. Take all yeah. the time you need. These are <laughs> easy now. <laughs> um, oh, my God. Oh my. I, um, you were talking about off later on if I think of it. Yeah, you're, I can't what, remember what it was. Well, you were talking about helping people. I haven't shown anybody this, but a very short story. We were in Montreal last summer. My son and I out by uh, the West Island, they call it. It's the suburbs. And I was driving on the highway, and all of a sudden, my son was sitting in the front seat. He was 10 at the time. I hear this big bang. And that's like, okay, this is really not good. And I have a Mazda Tribute. It's decently high. So I'm pulling over the side of the road trying to think of what did I just hit. And then a white car follows me in with their four ways on. So we had to go across two lanes of busy highway traffic to get to the shoulder. So I thought they came to see what I hit. Maybe they seen it come out from underneath. Maybe it went back and hit them. 
And when I went back to see them, I realized why they had pulled over. Now, this is the honest God truth. I'm going to show you a picture. This is what was in the girl's windshield. Oh, my goodness. At 100 kilometers an hour, so like, what, 55, 60 miles an hour she was doing when that went through. Oh, my goodness. So you, that, did you hit that? that? Well, we're wondering if maybe because it came off of uh, maybe one of those landscape, you know, the trucks that had the trailer to do landscape. Uh, and yeah. Tied down. Maybe I got the handle and I shot it back, but the the, the direction is wrong. So um, I maybe hit two pieces. Maybe I hit one when it broke and she got the blade went through her windshield. That is oh, crazy. Oh, man. There's from the outside. You can see how much of it's gone inside of her windshield. Oh, my goodness. Somebody was watching out for them. And it was a, a young girl. Oh, what? Uh, she just was turning 30 a couple of days later. Yep. That's right. And I opened the door and I'm like, there, you can see from the side. Now you can fully see. That how is crazy. And I went in and she's just sitting like frozen like this in the car, like this. And I'm like, are you okay? And she's like, uh-huh. And she had glitter <laughs> all over because, of course, like, you know, the, 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 yeah. the were all over her shirt and everything. And she went, it was in complete shock. And I said, what's your name? And she didn't really answer. And then I said, because I know you, if you're in shock, you call them. Like, okay, I, said, I was teasing her. I said, "Look, I got a ring on, so don't worry, it's not a pickup line." I said, "Do you need a hug?" That would be an awful yeah, yeah. pickup line. Yeah. Yeah. Terrible way to be <laughs> <trying. laughs> I did to make her laugh because I was trying to get her back out of yeah, it, you no, know, because she couldn't yeah. even really talk to me. Her pupils were almost right over her head, and I'm like, "Do you need a hug?" And she's like, "Uh huh," like that, because I had to try and get her out of the car because she couldn't let go of the steering wheel, and I grabbed her like that, and she's like. It almost got me. It almost got me. She just kept saying over and over again. And oh, oh my gosh! She, somebody awesome. was watching out for her. For oh sure. my god! Yeah, she was Big a lucky time. person that day. Yeah, we went to see her a week after, I think. Yes, because when we left, because all the firemen were there, I never thought to get her name or anything. And there's the local Montreal news channel. Uh, Xenia got in touch with them and showed them the pictures. This humble guy, of course, didn't want to do anything. And I'm like, you got to tell us to that. <laughs> no, local, I mean, you just hope to help people, you know? Well, yeah, but, I mean, you know, it was really something. So, so she went on the news, and they showed the story and everything, and then she found us through there. So we were able to meet up with each other. So That's great. Yeah. It was yeah. on the news and on the radio and everywhere here. <laughs> That's yeah. cool. When, when, when Lara and I got married, we got married in the wintertime, and we went out west on a driving tour, and it would start as snowing in Colorado, and a blizzard had come in, and we were driving down the road, and I saw this pickup truck coming the other direction, and it went into the median and flipped end over end. They must have been moving because everything went everywhere. Um, wow. we, we, we stopped on the side of the road, and I told her to call 911, so I ran across the interstate, and... Um, the car was upside down, and I had to reach in and undo her seatbelt because she was stuck upside down with the seatbelt. I had to push her up, pull the seatbelt out, and then drag her out. And so we're kind of like, you, you you got to meet the people, or eventually got to meet the people. We have no idea who this lady was. She just, I pulled her she, out. I, I came across the road and came over to the median with him, and there were several other people that were there by that time. And she was so, like, she was just cussing and mad. Oh, she was so mad. She, she was so lucky that she, because her car was messed up. I think she was just oh my God. probably in a shock. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when I pulled her out, she was just cussing me, cussing the car, cussing the snow, cussing everything. And oh. and um, she ended up getting into a uh, another vehicle because it was cold, you know. Yeah. And we just got back in our car and, and left. You know, we just didn't know what to do. We were just standing out there in the snow. So we just left. But um, you yeah. were fortunate. Got to actually meet the person that that you got to to help. Well, you know, the, but the thing is, it's to do it for the right reasons. I was glad to meet her, but even if I hadn't met her, the same as you guys, you know. And I think that's once again we we're talking about the similarity in areas, because you do see that more when you're a bigger city, how people don't come to help on anything, and it's so it, it boggles my mind. I mean, you can't put yourself in direct danger. You got to think too. You know, you got a family and stuff, but. It's just where you grew up. It was so volunt It was so natural just to go and help if somebody needed it. Mm -hmm. You don't think about it. You don't mull it over all the time. You just so go you and just do it. Yes, just I'm go and help. And you that's know? that's like around here. I mean, people will do things just to help. Not even that kind of helping. Just helping, like if people need. You know, people's having surgery. Somebody's having surgery. We'll make a food train, a meal train, and take them food. You know, every night so they don't have to cook. You know, and 
just everybody takes care of everybody. Exactly. Uh, same thing here. You know, the, I remember one guy that, you know, there's always a small town. There's one guy that they're not all crazy about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's me. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not. There, guys. For those of you who want to read about it, I just posted the link to the CTV News link. Oh, right. Because I know Andrew is just good. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> take that out. But like, even him, when he got sick with cancer, like everybody just all of a sudden started getting food in and then raised money to help with any kind of bills and stuff. You know, that's just the normal way of doing things. When somebody's down and out, you leave go of the day-to-day -day problems you have with somebody, and just kind of more that they need your help at that time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sure. But I guess we can't have it all in this world. It can't happen all the time, but just try to make it the better place that we can, do what we can. Absolutely. And hope that someday if we ever need something like that, that at least those some of those people will be around to do the same for us. That's all you yeah, can I, do. I think when you give out, it comes back. It really does. We okay. we've, we've been in, in need before and, and, and just out of nowhere, you know, just I think everybody has hard times. And yeah. uh you give and you take and it comes back and you know we've been in you know sometimes you know where you're at the end of the month and you don't have enough money to make it happen you know yep. and and just out of the blue somebody you'll 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 get a check in the mail for 50 bucks from yep. someone random I'm like what where did that come from that's and, right or somebody may come help you fix something at your house or or, or whatever you know um i just i think it's a it's a fun circle Nothing will always come back to you fully if you're expecting it, but if I believe you create a good environment around you, there's a better chance for good things to happen, not even just for you, but for the people in that circle as well. Sure. Mm -hmm. Even like the channel, we've always said that, you know, how we make everybody moderators here and never, because we don't even have to watch what people say because we've built, I believe, is a good, healthy place that everybody kind of, the bad ones don't feel comfortable here, so yeah, they go. It's kind of self polices. It, yeah. It's care of itself. Exactly. If everybody's sitting around having a normal conversation and somebody comes in and keeps saying something stupid, same as in real life. Well, after nobody laughs after four or five times or pays them any interest, they you go away. Feed, you just don't feed that. Yeah. Person, you know. That's right. You don't feed the negativity. So. And then with you guys as well. I mean, you guys' channel is so positive, like right off the get-go in the live streams and that. You know, it's you got a lot of returning ones, and it's, it's everybody, everybody's been kind of waiting to get there by the time you guys are on. You know, they're looking yeah. forward to it. It's a part well, of the day. I've really enjoyed it, and, and this was kind of a surprise to me, and we, it wasn't expected. Uh, when we started our YouTube channel, it's just to make videos about our travels and, and whatever, whatever we're doing. But there's really been this really cool community of people that we have got to learn, to meet, like you guys. And the Polynesian vlogger, TriStar Travelers, there's, there's so many people out there that we've got to meet and become friends with through YouTube. Um, the community is just I great. Did, I don't think I expected that when I started YouTube. You know, I, yeah. I, I didn't expect that community to be there. Well, I think you guys had an outlet, and it was a great chance for you to be able to use it. Like, you had the tools available to jump into it and get going. And, I mean, it shows mm -hmm. in your live streams. People really do enjoy them. You guys got like a cult following, kind of like uh, uh, the Grateful Dead. Uh, you know, like, <laughs> they, they really like you guys a lot. <laughs> all, all five of them. <laughs> well, I don't know. I've seen more than that in there myself. So I think you guys are doing pretty good. And you haven't been doing it very long either. That's, you know, so cheers to you guys for that. Um, we're, I think our channel's at like um, 240 right now. We, we, um, it may be more we, we, yeah, maybe um i'm sure it's growing after tonight too i'm sure there's a lot oh, yeah of uh yeah uh shameless plug for the two alpacas if you haven't met the two alpacas please go to their channel and subscribe right now hit that <laughs> subscribe great. button down below and hit the thumbs up button while you're there exactly i'm gonna put up the link in a second yeah, for you. I've, I've been putting it all along and i'm gonna put it thank you so much um we we were so excited when we when we finally reached 100 because that meant we could do live videos because like i told you we were already doing live videos through facebook and um, we, we just love doing them. They're do fun. You still do them on Facebook as well? Are you still doing that? Well, yeah. Yeah, we do Facebook Lives a couple times a week. We do one every Sunday because we do a um, we do a Sunday. giveaway in our town. We do a, a Sunday giveaway um, where we give something away and we hide it in our town. Oh. And so people that don't, if the only people that will know it's there will be the people watching our videos. 
uh, or at least that's the way it used to be. Now we've got to where we're actually hiding them more publicly so more people will find it. And uh, there was one time, what, about four or five Sundays ago, um, a girl had come out of the workout place where we hid it outside this one uh, workout facility. And she drove up and saw this little little zipper bag that we put on the light post. And inside of it had, um, what all did it have? A, a Starbucks gift card. And we put a Starbucks gift cool. card. Um, and then it had a kindness rock. I don't know if you know what those are. Like where people will paint um, a rock and it says like you're loved or happiness or peace or whatever on it. And so it had one of those in it. Yeah. So anyway, so it had a, a kindness rock in the Starbucks card and the, and the little zipper bag and stuff. And she, she, and then we put our, uh, we have a little card that has a two alpacas um, information on it. So she went onto our Facebook page, looked it up, saw the video that we made of putting that out there. And, and, it, and it touched her heart because she was having some down and out times at, at this particular moment in her life. And when she found that she needed to hear you are loved. And that rock that was in there said, you are loved. And, and then the, the, the zipper bag that, that we gave her or that we put out there had butterflies on it. Well, she loves butterflies and it happened to be purple, which was one of her favorite colors. And it just all worked out. It was really neat. And, um, so yes, oh, cool. we were talking just a while ago. There's a great example. That's how somebody. But I think that's amazing. Yeah. So we we do those every Sunday, and we put we um, do a Facebook live of us putting it wherever we're putting it out. Okay. And, um, we did them on YouTube at, at, for a little while, but then we we're like, uh, it's more of a community thing here because yes. you, you can't leave you know Canada to come down here to look for our, our rock. Um, I mean, I'd be up for the challenge, mind you, but, yeah. but you, it would be gone by the time you got here. So, exactly. it be, so, I so, we, so we went back to doing it on Facebook. And, and we've been doing them on my um, personal Facebook page um, to build up the following on our Facebook page, our um, Two Alpacas Facebook page, which is kind of building up a following on our YouTube. We have a big following um, of people that were watching our Facebook live videos here in um, our local area, mm -hmm. but that ha they haven't moved over to our YouTube channel. Yeah, there's so. not much crossover there, I've noticed. So, and you're gonna notice that's gonna be, we were just talking about that the other night uh, with Panic D and them, like that's something that you're gonna notice is gonna be a very hard sell, really hard sell, and almost nobody seems to get that one. It's, uh, even if they have YouTube and Facebook, it's hard to get them to come over. I don't know why, it's a mindset, and everybody's dealing with that issue as well. So if that's any consolation. Yeah. I've just started the live streams on Facebook as well, and it's good for the local community, yes. as you're saying. And, like, our Facebook is also mostly kept for the local uh, of clients because, like, in day-to-day, -day, we, we are serving mostly Montreal and Quebec area. So that's what it's for, but it really rarely crisscrosses. Uh, almost, see, Panic D, I knew he'd jump in right yeah. away. He says, yes, it's very hard. We literally talked about that last night for, like, 30 minutes. Yeah. But having to figure out so ways you, to do if it. If you find out how to do that, yes, so you got the gold leg. Then <laughs> market the hell out of it. You guys will retire on that information. <laughs> <laughs> well, right now the only thing that we really are, like I said, we're trying to get uh, the ones that we're following on our per personal page over to that to Alpaca's Facebook page, and then, but it's not getting over. <laughs> All of our YouTube videos, we'll we'll put on. Facebook, like we'll personally share our own YouTube videos to our personal YouTube page, or I mean, Facebook page, and we and get some. Watch it. We'll get some viewership, but not. But they won't go on and and subscribe, and, and they won't follow us subscribe. on there and that kind of thing. The yeah. hardest part with Facebook is, and this is because my parents and all them I use it. A lot of people that really tend to stick with Facebook tend to be creatures of habit. Mm -hmm. They really don't like, and you wouldn't think because you think YouTube, well, it's just going to watch videos, but to them, it feels like another realm. It's another place to sign up. A lot of people that are in Facebook don't like, they're they're the ones that are always nervous, like, oh, God, they're going to send me something if I sign up there or I'm going to have to make a video. They're, yeah. they're really, really scared to change, where YouTube is more kind of, you know, they're more flexible on that one. So that's right. why I think a lot of the, where a lot of the problem lies. All right, well, well, we'll come up with the answer and we'll let you know. I'm telling you, <laughs> you'll retire, my friend. <laughs> you'll not be saying you have 240 subscribers. <laughs> it's a YouTube, Facebook, Link app. Yeah. You'll, you'll, you'll be flying in a helicopter with Casey Neistat talking about it. So. <laughs> <laughs> you were talking about somebody that makes some good videos right there. Casey yep. Neistat. Wow. He's and cool. I like that because we were talking about that. You know, there's a lot of lately the small ones hating on the big ones and I don't think it's fair to do that. I mean, especially those guys. I'm not the like Casey's good. I find he's kind of lulled a little bit lately, 
But I do believe the guy truly worked his way to where he is, same Absolutely. as we watch another guy called Peter McKinnon that does oh, Peter. Oh, my gosh. I love Peter's work. Mm -hmm. That guy, he's from uh, up around Toronto area, and, I mean, he had a million subscribers in, like, nine months. Yeah, know? yeah, he's insane. But you got to look look at the quality of work that he's putting out there. Exactly. Uh, I mean, his B-roll is, is the oh. best in the world. I mean, oh, this yeah. is good. It's amazing stuff. I mean, and 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 even if he, even if Peter McKinnon came to our house and showed us what to do, I still don't think we could replicate what he could do. There's just something that he does that that is special, and, and I think that's amazing. We like music, you know. Look at I remember one time trying to learn a song for two days when I was a teenager. My fingers almost, and I'll never forget one of my friends that played for years said. He said, what makes you think that you're going to learn a song like that when you got a guy that wrote it that's been playing for 25 years, eight hours a day? Mm -hmm. And that's the same with Peter McKinnon. The guy just does it every day that's, for years. Yeah, that's their life. That's their job. Their whole life is built around getting being good at it. So, you know, that's what makes sense them apart in that, I, yeah. I believe. But, but it, it, you want to try to compare yourself to people like that, but you, you really can't. It's not fair to yourself. To, yes. To, True. Uh, right. yeah, we, well, we try to make some videos that are a little more creative or, or whatever, and we spend a lot of time on them, and then – they just don't, they don't even do as well as just our, our random ones that are just simple and easy and us, you know, like the ones that are just with us talking or uh, an unboxing video and stuff. They'll get more, more hits. Or us going to a candy shop. Yeah, oh we my were, gosh. We, we did go into a candy shop and that was like one of our best, best videos. <laughs> it's got the most views out of every, all of them. And, uh, and it's just a simple little video. So whatever. Yeah. Like Large5126 is also saying the best YouTubers are themselves on camera. And we have uh, repeated that over and yep. over, too, that, uh, you know, like how to be the questions on Tech Talk usually on Tuesdays, how to be, you know, on how to make the best videos, how to be yep. on YouTube. I, I think we think that you can't carry on, you know, a makeup personality no. for a long time. It's going to show up anyway. Uh, you know, being themselves, yourselves, and yourselves, as you just said, is really the best strategy. And it works for the bigger YouTubers. Why wouldn't it for It's kind of fun having a happy medium between not being a hack and not trying to pretend to be something you're not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. That is the, that's the line that I believe that you get the most honesty with, and that's why those videos do the best. You know, some people try to set up green screens, but they're not set up for them, and half their head is missing inside of them and all these things. It makes you look ten times worse than if you had it just filmed in your kitchen with yeah. the deep writing and talking, you know? Right. So, so yeah, the green screen is something that I, I can't stress enough to people. I'm seeing that a lot. Please, please, if you're going to do that, practice a lot at home first and really think, is it worth it? Yeah, it just just stop. Just stop yeah. all together. <laughs> I didn't want to say it. I'll but... say it for you. I don't care. I have no filter. <laughs> Just stop with the green screen already. It's terrible. It looks ridiculous. <laughs> There's this one drone guy I watch, and he's got a decent following. I forget, maybe like 70 or 100,000 in the States. And he's one of these old surly guys. You know, he, all of his clothes were bought at L.L. Bean. And he stands and he has no personality when he talks. He's very knowledgeable, but it's like, and then the drones were coming up, and we were at 700 feet, and you have to get this. And he shows this green screen, and it looks like some BBC newsroom behind him. It's like, God, get rid of that stupid thing already. Well, I mean, one thing is you know? the fun of it is one thing. Yeah, you know? we know you're not in the studio. You're not fooling us here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But in his eyes, he thinks he's there. He thinks he's with, the, you know, CNN or Fox or wherever. <laughs> The joke's over. We know you're not. You know. <laughs> and maybe that's helped me because I'm not very technologically savvy. Maybe I don't do that stuff, so I don't even try it. So probably if I knew how to do green screens, it would probably be worse on us. <laughs> <laughs> it is because you guys is about personality. It's like you said, you want to show like what you guys are as a couple and without having children, how you can still have this great, like, you know, fun, adventurous life. You don't need any of that. That's just, it's just an effect that serves no purpose. Yeah. Right. This, yeah, I, I guess if you were doing talking head stuff where uh, is, you know you're delivering information and maybe you needed a, a set back there or something, I, I maybe I could get that. Yeah. But, for, but for most people, I think it looks looks bad. Well, except for yeah, Coriolis effect. They're the ones that seem to pull it oh off. Oh my god, that's can. just hilarious. You've this seen them so with cool. the floating heads there. Yeah, with yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah no, yeah, yeah, if you're that's... using it for parody, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's great. Good job. And they're one yeah. of the few that actually can pull that off because most people would fall flat on their face, but they just got the right amount of personality in them to be able to do it and get right. away with yeah, it. Yeah, right, right. That was like, great. Yeah. Like, like you guys' uh, paintings, the, the, the pictures behind you of the, the llamas, I mean, that's a greater set than anything you could ever put with a green yeah. screen. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. It's just, it's just simple. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Yeah. It's like us since we painted, we took down all the pictures. We had that picture of uh Yeah, so where did your pictures go? Oh, they're all standing up in a corner right now. We're gonna probably put one back up, but yeah, you need something right in the middle there. Because that was hard. I mean, that was I a lot of alpacas. Yes. <laughs> oh, that was an interesting thing. What? Alpacas. Yeah, that would be what, good. What about some alpacas behind you? <laughs> you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna talk to do you guys know the channel Doodles by Doug? Yes, yes. Doodles is awesome. We got to get Doodles to do a character because he did the one, the character of us with the monkey and the pillow on our faces. We got to get him to do you guys as the llamas. Oh, yeah, yeah. That would be great. We would, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. He yeah he'll some, do that in a heartbeat. He's right. He does the Sunday's yeah. lives uh, where he doodles uh, things like. Uh, I don't know yeah. if you guys oh, sorry. Uh, seen that, but uh, he made the doodle of us. Oh, oh that's awesome. That's great. That is great. Yeah, we watched that. Uh, Doodles by Doug when he got to 200 subscribers. Oh, uh, yeah. and he made this uh, yellow submarine octopus thing, and it was just a lot of fun. And uh, we I just, love watching those. Yeah, and and we, we and after the video was done the next day, uh, Doug and I did some commenting back and forth. And he was asking if there's anything that he, that I thought he could do, and I thought kind of like with you guys when you're doing your tutorials with the Tech Tuesdays, um, as he's talking through his um, uh, his, his doodling. Maybe give some techniques and stuff. So yes. it's really that that we as a community, going back to the community thing, that we can kind of bounce ideas back and forth with each other. Hey, what can I do to make my video better? What can I do to be more open or more uh, more aggressive or whatever they need? You know, and it's really really awesome that we can share ideas back and forth. Well, you guys have heard us preach that in Tech Talk Tuesday, but other places as well. You have a whole wealth of information sitting right here. Like right now, you know, you have over twenty some people. You're bound to get an answer out of somebody, or it's like, uh, who was it? The guy from Oregon uh, that was worried about his video. Uh, he, he was making a photography video and thought maybe it wasn't uh, interesting enough. So what do you do? We told him make it private and send it to two or three people that you really trust and let them think and let them see what they think of it for you. Yeah, I remember. I remember y'all talking about that. Yeah. Uh, what is his Matt? Matt or Matt Oregon? Yeah, uh, I think so. Uh, Matt, I think I forget his last name, but I think it's Matt Oregon. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, everybody here is really great for that. You can really bounce ideas off of people and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, we know it's not the, like uh, Tech Talk Tuesdays. It's never like we are experts on something. No. It's, it's mostly interchanging of experiences. And, and you know, as we, I always say, you and I have questions, you and I have answers because yeah. that's exactly what it's all about, you know. Like some people ask about editing on a phone. I don't know much about it, but there's people here who do it. So great. Give them the information, you know, help everybody out that way. It's uh, We're not getting rich here, so we got to have fun doing it. we got to all stick together and just enjoy the process. Well, you're not getting rich. They're sending us checks in the mail every day. <laughs> I can tell that. You look like a wonky about? man right now. You got the... Yeah. You look like a, I tell From you, YouTube. I, 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 we, we're, we're, we're running out of places to put these checks. Um, <laughs> they're just falling out the garage. Um, in fact, I think I'm lining the dog's pen with you know with checks. You know. Oh, you gotta you gotta have to invest in, in alpacas with all that money. Oh, did we lose them? Did I? Did I oh, there they are. Oh, oh we thought yeah, they were. Froze up there. <laughs> Good to have you back. So yeah, you have to invest in alpacas with that money and. Yeah, yeah, there you go. That's it. <laughs> exactly. Invent a new whiskey or something like that, but like a, a two alpacas whiskey or something. Oh, I'm in. I am in. I yeah. like that. Absolutely. You could, you could yeah. end up on that TV show Moonshiners. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> yeah, they have all kinds of moonshine around here. Yeah, they got moonshine, and then, of course, Kentucky's full of bourbon. Yes, I know. I know. Yes. I, know. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I know, I know. I got caught leaving the state with the stuff. As well. <laughs> hey, can we ask you a question? Sure. sure. About travel, um, Andrew. I know you've done a lot of travel, and 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 Xenia, you're you know obviously from Latvia, and uh, to the people that want to travel more and maybe go overseas. Of course, I, I I lived out of the country, but that was as a kid, and I didn't have any choice. Yeah. Um, as we get older, she's got the fibromyalgia. Um, do you have any suggestions for uh, making the, the the step of getting out of, let's say, our state versus in our out of our country into other like European countries and things like that? Sure. Uh, uh, when I was forty one, I did that. Twelve. Nobody has to do it that extreme, but I did twelve countries in fifteen days. And here's a couple. I'll put a couple of tips into one two minute answer. When you're in Europe, you want to travel light because if you travel light, you can fly for like. 
10 15 dollars canadian anywhere in you in anywhere in europe as long as you book in advance and you have carry-on luggage so find a hotel wherever you land say you land and we're going to take brussels for instance find a hotel that you'll stay at the first night the last night and they agree to keep your luggage while you're gone if you want to travel heavier once you're there then pack your uh, backpack and either a fly which is extremely cheap, but a lot of times you're out of further the city because you always fly to B-listed airports, you know, that are 20 kilometers in the city, you got to take a train. Or what I did was was for $800 Canadian, which would be, what, 600 US, we'll say roughly, you can get on a train and you have a pass for 15 days that you can do 28 countries, and you can sleep on the train at night, and you pay a 5 euro sur uh, surcharge to take the night trains, Plan your trips out that you're always sleeping on the train and then getting off the next town and the next country in the day. Huh. So you're always sleeping in every morning. So like when I, f I landed in Brussels, I went to Luxembourg, then Paris, and then I flew to Krakow, Poland and went to Auschwitz. Well, starting that night, every night I got off the train was a new place. So I went to bed and got up in, in the Czech Republic. And then I got off in, you know, Bratislava and Hungary and uh, uh, Slovenia and just kept doing that the whole way down. So you could even, if you want to kill time, is maybe do like Berlin, go down into Croatia, to uh, Czech Republic, and then back up into Frankfurt. You know, always just picking night train. That's a cheap way to do it. Huh. You know? You're not, you're not paying extra hotel fees at night. Exactly, because Europe is very expensive. If anybody's going because they want to stay in beautiful hotels, bring the largest checkbook you got, mm -hmm. you probably still will go broke trying to do it. Because there's no middle hotels in Europe. It's either entry level or it's five star and you're paying to the yeah team. it's either hostel type and lots of them are automated meaning that you never see a clerk or anything mm -hmm. there's a just box in the entry yeah <laughs> where you basically do everything and never see anybody from the staff or uh there are more higher end ones so uh this what andrew was just talking about is is really a very good solution of seeing a lot in a short amount of time without being too tired, yeah. uh, as I know that is important, and, and still being in an active traveling, as you like as well, and saving money on uh, on uh, hotels because the trains are very comfortable. Yes. Okay. They're like the Austrian trains. I mean, it was all black leather sitting down, like wide open mm -hmm. bars and stuff like that, you know? Yeah, it's 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 not like you're stuck on some rally. You will be say if you go down through like Bratislava and that, and down into Croatia, but it's only a night train, and they still have very comfortable beds in that. It's not. Uh, there's some rooms that the most of them hold six people, then four people, then three, and then two. So if you guys are two already, mm -hmm. you might cost you fifteen euros a night, but still you'll have a bed all to yourself, the room. Mm -hmm. that'd, be, right. that'd be great. Yeah. Also, like if you do, if you do rather have a plane uh, flight, they are very cheap in yeah. Europe, especially when you do uh, fly a uh, light. As Andrew said, with just a backpack, you know, you can fly for twelve, fifteen dollars. Like I flew from to Edinburgh another. to Liverpool, it cost me like what was it, thirteen dollars Canadian yeah. or something? Like yeah. It's about nine US one way. Wow, wow! It's How did that even seem possible? Yeah, no, I'll tell you why. And actually, I want to say, because I know you're a man of knowledge, is this guy, Wendrover Productions. He's a YouTube channel from Canada. And he actually does a video on how they do it so cheap there. I'm going to send you the link after we're done here, because I think you'd really like it. Yeah, because it's cheaper to fly to Europe, and even to Iceland, actually, <laughs> uh, to our favorite Iceland, than there is to fly across the board. That's another thing, too. America. If you can get a flight with Iceland Air... Uh, very quick story, because Iceland was almost bankrupt in 2008. They were almost about to go to the Russians. They had nothing left. And as a last-minute crapshoot, they throw, threw all their money into tourism, which they'd never bothered with before. And they realized that people didn't want to spend two weeks there. So they have these cheaper flights that go to Europe, and all of them switch in Iceland, because it's right in the middle of the jet stream. So they opened up this new idea called this free stopover. Okay, you don't want to spend two weeks? Great. Why not have a free stopover? If you stay less than seven days, you don't pay any airport fees. So you want to go to Scotland, you want to go to Sweden, you want to go to France, wherever, fly with us, and you'll get two trips for the price of one. Oh, wow. Hmm. Wow. And you would love the yeah. geothermal bus there. It's 10 minutes away by bus. It's uh, the Reykjavik power plant, and they call it the Blue Lagoon. And it's a spa area, and you're just floating in geothermal water that's cooled down from the power plant mixed with seawater. Oh, and wow. It's full of silica, and it's a real spa. People come from around the world to 
to bathe in it. But they also, all the public pools are also geothermal water, and also in the middle of fields, there are geothermal pools, so to say, that are just accessible by anybody, but usually it's just you there. Uh, so for aching body, <laughs> yeah, it feels good. It's just like the best treat ever. There's an example of it there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Fresh so, air. Oh, um, did I screw it up? Fresh food. Oh, that one's bad. That's why they don't want it shared. Yeah, but there. And, uh, and yeah, and uh, if you don't, if you want to just try out and go somewhere out of states, that's something nice, cheaper, and really great to see things. Iceland is a must, and it's it's short flight, so. Okay. Let's check that out. I, I know that we both want to go to Ireland and Scotland. Yeah. Uh, they just seem like such an amazing place oh, to be. And in London. If you're there, you have, to, if you've got enough time, because I did Ireland, Scotland, and that, go to the Isle of Man. It costs about $30 to fly there. It's in the middle of the Irish Sea. Mm -hmm. There's palm trees everywhere. It's a tax haven. It's, it's like, a, it looks like the set from Magnum PI, but in the middle of the Irish Sea. It has yeah. Great great. yeah. It's an amazing yeah. place. Probably one of the most interesting places I've ever gone in my life. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. Green train is there. Well, if you uh, decide to plan anything, uh, just get in touch with us. We would, you know, yeah, we'll uh, help more you than willing to help you if we can. Well, and I'm not looking for plain, cheap plane tickets. I usually like a broker sitting there between different <laughs> websites. And, okay, hit one. <laughs> so definitely. There's the Isle of Man there, and it's a beautiful place. It's uh, all. Uh, oh. Uh, and it's it's only like a thirty minute flight from uh, either Liverpool or uh, Dublin. Oh, nice place for we. And actually, they have a steam train there, and that's part of the. You know, you, in cities when you travel, you can get like a day package for the public transit. Well, if you go north on the island, you can take an old electric uh, trolley car that goes right up along the coastline of the Irish Sea. But if you go south towards the airport, you get an actual three-quarter gauge rail uh, steam railway that's still running with hundred-year-old cars, all done in wood interiors and stuff like that. Wow! So, so there. I hope that answered. Sorry if it's a bit longer, but that's <laughs> we have a whole show yeah. about travel. <laughs> there you go. That's awesome. We want to do more of that outside of the states. Uh, why, why did you choose like Scotland, Ireland, London? Is there some kind of connection or uh, why is that the go-to place? Well, in, in, Tennessee, in Tennessee, it has a huge Scottish, Irish, um, a lot of immigrants from Scotland and Ireland settled in Tennessee a lot because of the ge geography here. It's very similar to over there as far as uh, the mountains and, the, and stuff, but her, her birth uh, father is Scottish background. Yeah. So... We want we want to go there yeah. because of that. Mm. Baird, which is a Scottish name, so and um, so I would trace that back, and you can trace th that back to Scotland. So I'd love to go. Baird was like a clan, right? Mm. A Scottish <laughs> clan. That's so cool. Yeah, so I'd love to go back. You could trace it there, actually, and actually to see the historical places where they possibly have lived. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that, that's part of what we want to do, and, and yeah. plus just to see the neat castles and all the just old stuff. Because the United States as a country, are, we're pretty young, so yes. we don't have a lot yeah. of really old buildings or structures or, or even that much history for just a couple of hundred years, two or three hundred years. Um, we're over there, you know, they've been around for you know eons, you know. It <laughs> seems like so they've got some really old stuff. I like to see a lot of that. And like, it's weird in Ireland, you'll be driving around, you'll go on this windy little road, and you'll pull up, and there's like three quarters of a castle that's 700 years old there with the front gone, and it's right in a farmer's field. Like, they got cheap. Just, it's just like, you know, as if we had an old barn around our house, you know, like that. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it, it is, uh, it's, 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 but it's, you'll see it everywhere you go. It's just like smothered in castles. I liked Ireland more than Scotland for the castles because they're so much more accessible. If you go to Ireland, you uh, to Scotland or the UK, you got to buy the pass to see most of them because they're all uh, tree. Oh, sorry, hun, uh, wall or tree gated, so it's hard to just drive up and get a view of them. You got to, but there are passes you can get to get into all of them. 
like a museum pass right. in the States or like a park pass, you know, that type of idea. But the neat uh, thing about, uh, uh, you know, United Kingdom in general is that you can see so many different phases of, of the history in time. Yeah. You know, like you can see the ruins from ancient Romans when they were there. And then right beside it, you see the castle, you know, and then you see 5,000 year old, uh, you know, uh, uh, buildings that have been there even before Stonehenge. And it's all in one location. If you go to Ireland, one last piece of advice i'll give you i went to something that i don't know you ever, i don't know to this day why not everybody that goes to ireland goes to see it it's up around the border of uh, northern ireland you go up there and there's these big round places and they're about 140 feet wide they were built 5,500 years ago they're older than stonehenge they're older than the pyramids and they figure the stone was brought in 80 kilometers away by boat and the water is like what a mile and a half away from the sites they've been covered for thousands of years they found them in the 1600s when they were digging for uh, mining rock for castles uh -huh. they went down and they hit them they heard legends the the ancient people lived there but nobody knew if it was real or not and they just left it alone for another couple hundred years people looted inside and then nobody touched it they have pictures in the 60s of cattle grazing on top of these things you couldn't even see them they were so covered like 60 feet high mounds and underneath them is all this white quartz and rocks that weigh four or five tons with ancient carvings through them. And the big one you go to, it's called a garage. You can't drive into it. They take you in by bus. And it's not expensive. But every year at local solstice, for one week, when you walk in, there's a window above you. And when you get inside the chamber, once a week, every, local, every year during local solstice, it lights up those three chambers for five minutes. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's, it's like, like Indiana Indiana Jones stuff. <laughs> oh, nobody goes to see it. Nobody. Everybody yeah, I talked to has ever been to Ireland, never even heard of it. That's older than Stonehenge, so it was incredible. I couldn't there's like 80 of these things all around. Some of them have been rebuilt, some of them have been left alone, some not. And they think it was an ancient wow. burials ruins, but there's like carvings everywhere. The five thousand five hundred years old. It was phenomenal. Wow. Wow. That you sounds know? awesome. We'll have to put that on the list. Yeah. <laughs> I'll send you guys that one too. Sorry. I just have to mention that because it drives me crazy that nobody ever tells. Like, none of the tour groups go there. None of the buses go there. That's crazy. Because the coast is nice, but tour buses do the same thing. They just take you to one tra tourist trap after another, the same as anywhere else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they bypass all these things. And it's, I, I was mortified. One of, one of the cool things that we like to do is just go and see odd things. Um, yep. We just love to go see things that that really aren't uh, on the beaten path. Uh, she found an app called Road Trippers, and you can you can you can map out your route wherever yep. you're going, and then you can look for things off of that route, and it'll just come up with the most random things that you never even would have seen. Uh, yeah, you know, that's pretty neat. That's the best way to travel is just to wing it, you know, find those kind of things, and just go on your own. I I don't believe in tour groups. I don't believe in a lot of that stuff. I believe they take it everywhere where you don't want to see, and they're very good at it. Mm -hmm. And they're very good at dragging out a trip that you could do in a car. Same as, as Ireland, that rent a car, you'll be fine. Within 20 minutes, you'll forget that you're on the other side of the road. It literally passed. That would scare me to death. I'm afraid I'd just have a brain cramp and just kill people. <laughs> I, I've traveled by train and been dropped off in the middle of the night in Austria and places. I've been to countries where nobody can speak to me for hours in my own language. And I was never so terrified as to take out a car in Ireland. I was sweating bullets. Yeah. The first left turn I made when I went out, I'm like, I'm going to kill everybody in this country. I'm never coming back. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like a time. You came and killed everyone? Yeah, this is that time. But after that, after 20 minutes, you're more than fine. It literally is just, um, it, it, it's just a mind thought. And once you let go, you're not even going to think about it anymore. Okay. And it's the best way to see the country. It's a fun place to drive into. The roads are narrow but beautiful. Take good insurance because you'll probably scratch the side because they got hedges everywhere. And when big trucks come, you got to pull over. So oh. take insurance on that one. Okay, good to know. <laughs> I can't stress that one enough. <laughs> so, I did that. That's why the first day I landed, I went to Belfast by bus right from the airport because I wanted to get some of my nerves gone. So I said, I'll go by bus and see what it looks like on the other side. So I went to Belfast for the day, then I came back, slept in the airport, and then took my car the next morning. And then I did two days there. I did two days in Scotland driving and two days in central UK. Hmm. And it's good. 
You'll be fine. Sounds good. Yep. Yeah. Sounds fun. Yeah, absolutely. So you'll be fine. <laughs> Please take lots of video because I didn't do it when I was there, and I'll be like throbbing at the bit to see all your stuff. So yeah. oh yeah, for sure. You know, if we if we if we go over there, you you'll definitely see video. Oh, that would be <laughs> definitely forever. <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's okay. That'll be that's lots of content coming. I think that's great. So I don't know how how fast we'll be able to get there, but but we'd like to for sure. Yeah, you know, we're going this summer. I think we already set up north east yeah and, um but we're gonna go through a lot of states and see a lot of stuff in 10 days so yeah. you guys are gonna be busy. Close to canada <laughs> well that's it when you go to new york state upper new york state, like montreal we're only about 45 minutes from the u.s border it's not very far here is that right yeah so if you're up in new york state around that area and then in the higher you call and come, come have coffee with you mm -hmm. i yeah, will do that definitely. for sure I would love that. Or we can come down and meet you guys if yes. you know your passport. We'll go down over the border for you. So. Well, yeah, yeah, we don't have our passport, so you'll have to come across. <laughs> you consider great. it done. You guys come up that way, let us know. It would be our honor to uh, sit down and have a coffee with you guys. Because there's houses around that, area that are halfway on the border. Like their kitchens in the U.S. and their living rooms in Canada and all that. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, they show it on the news every year for some reason that they do the same routine. I know it's been since I was a kid. And it's always the same old couple. Hun, you want me to get me a cup of Canadian coffee? And then they laugh. It's like, God, get over it. No, <laughs> <laughs> you're in the middle of the border. You don't have to do this every year, you know. <laughs> LAJ5126 from Montreal, as well as us, uh, said that he's right, or she. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that if you want a taste of Europe, please come to Montreal. And that's so true. The closest place to go to Europe is Montreal. It, that is true. Yeah. Right. Very, very European. I, I had brought it up for you guys a while ago. This is Quebec City. And this is an amazing city. Oh, wow. wow. And this is one of the oldest cities in North America. And that's because the French, that's the narrowest entrance into the St. Lawrence Seaway. So that's where it was fortified to try and keep the British out. Oh, Okay. You have the Plains of Abraham there. You have the great battles from the 1600s. They still have all the the the, the uh, cannons are still there and everything. And that's cool. That, that is, that's neat. Yep. There's history all around us. It's funny like that. But I, I agree with you. There's something about we went into Estonia. We ate in a restaurant that was a 1,200-year-old Viking site. And, and to think that's still standing to this day. It had like 24 by 24 planks running down it everywhere for the ceiling noise. And, wow. You know, today we can't build anything that lasts a hundred years. If yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is disposable these days. Same as churches, because there's so many beautiful churches, and we came back, and I was telling my mother, my mother doesn't like to travel; she doesn't get it at all. And I'm like, oh, these beautiful churches. Oh, 45 years or 40 years in Montreal, you never looked at a church in your life. You go there, and you can't stop going into them. Like, you know, <laughs> 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 whatever it takes. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> My mother's always been pretty good at catching me on that one. So <laughs> I guess all mothers are. So. Absolutely, yeah. Guys, it's been such a pleasure talking to you guys. This oh, is yeah. so long overdue. The, oh, the, man, the, a blast. Yeah, this has been a great time. We it's really like to get to know you guys and get to get to know everybody through these live live streams. It's just a lot of fun. Well, you guys are the type of channel that make it what it is here. We owe it all to you guys. We're more. We're always said that it's not us. We just opened a platform. It's guys like the people like you that made this place what it is. So we really owe you a lot. Well, thanks for having us on. We, we, yeah, like I said, we've really enjoyed it. We really have. And if you're up that way in the summer and you're close enough to the border and all that, let us know. And you never know, maybe we can uh, come down for that cup of coffee with you guys. That would be awesome. Sounds good. And we want to tell everybody that's uh, on the chat and out there watching. Thanks for joining us and uh, hanging out with us and learning a little bit about the two alpacas. We appreciate that. Because if it wasn't for them, you know, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing either, you know. Right. It's the crowd that makes it happen. And you guys definitely are building the right way. And I think you guys are going to have a long, long, good following here well, on the YouTube. Right reasons for the right doing reasons. It. That's why it's, it's going to grow on its own. Yeah. Good job, guys. And uh, looking forward for more travels. Yeah. Great. <laughs> right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. We appreciate it. I get to that that alpaca farm soon, eh? Because I want to yeah. see some pictures. Yeah, okay. right, we'll, we'll, we'll make that happen this summer for sure. You guys take care. Be well. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks. See you guys. Bye. Bye now.
Oh my God. There's, there's, there. I mean, we've talked. It's amazing because you talk to these chats so much, but it's typing. But it's so nice when you actually get to sit down and talk with them like that. And they're such an amazing couple. Oh yes, uh, definitely. It was yeah. so much fun. And so many, so much laughs. Uh, I, oh. I was reading the chat. People were yeah. saying like, "Oh, my cheeks hurt." Yeah. Oh my <laughs> God. Uh, you know, uh, and it was it was so fun and yep. so interesting, so engaging. Yeah. Um, and such a good amazing, attitude about the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, amazing couple. Love them so much. You know, um, they're they wear their heart on their sleeve, and they're just good people. And that's what makes it so nice to go and watch them. Like I say, it does remind me of being back home. Some, you know, it's a you could just go to sit at their table, have a cup of coffee, and some laughs. And oh that. yeah, yeah. Uh, Looking forward if they come. Uh, oh, that would be Canada, awesome. Canada would be amazing to yeah. catch up. Uh, uh, Laj from Montreal says thank you for this. It has been great, refreshing, really. Thank you. Yeah. We're here Monday to Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern with guests every day of the week except for Tuesday when we have Tuesday Tuck Talk. So uh, and I'm so glad you came for it. It's, yeah, I'm, like we've been trying to meet more Canadian channel, and now to have you nice and close and that, we'll definitely have to keep talking and that. Oh so. my goodness, definitely, and uh, we always have good laughs. And as you see, our community is so uh, so uh, welcoming, uh, so friendly. Craft, uh, mommy. craft mommy, hi, hello, hello. We gotta give you a blue wrench right away. Yeah, there you go. we don't want you I'm being a girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we have Tuesday Tech tomorrow. Uh, with uh, questions from the chat and answers as well. That's right. <laughs> and everybody and working together. From, from us, questions and answers from the chat. Doodles by Doug. Maybe your ears were burning. We just had on, of course, you see I the tool. Oh, you did. Oh. <laughs> Unreal. Anyway, so you know where the score is. Yeah. So there. I'll just be quiet. Maybe you haven't seen it yet. Where's Susie? Susie wasn't in tonight? No, Susie wasn't in. Yeah, tonight. she's working tonight. This chat has great energy. Yes, it's always so positive. Thank you. It's it, and you know it's thanks to our our friends here and uh, we're growing. Uh, so that, that's amazing. Look, look at Philip always writes them. Like, that's such great things. Oh yes, my goodness. I, I keep You're copying all, all all your uh, quotes. It's it's just unbelievable. Uh, thank you so much. Terrell says much love. Terrell, you've been amazing since the beginning. I feel like you're the unsung hero. Sometimes I feel bad. Cause like you've been here since pretty much day one you were our first mod uh and so good at it like she's so like talk about selfless acts you know she's just being terrell like I love. oh that. yeah and always welcoming everybody mm -hmm. like the terrell the original as yep, we say you know right. so that's uh thank you so much for helping us build up this channel you you're such a crucial part of it uh and yeah uh, doodles thank you we were just talking about you we were showing again doodle that you made for us and uh talking uh, about how funny or fun it would be if you could possibly <coughs> maybe <laughs> well i figured i'm not talking to you i done the work uh, i make a doodle of uh the two alpacas uh the guests that we had today on they're so funny and and i mean you know of course mixing itself. them in with actual alpacas yeah and just a suggestion. No, we don't no want to pressure. put you on the spot. Yeah, no, no pressure. pressure. No. Uh, but uh, yeah, so that's what we were talking about. You, uh, mm -hmm. just an idea. And I also heard that you have a, a collaboration video coming up with Panic D. Yes, that's uh, so really cool. Really looking forward to that. Oh, another one, Canadian Drone Network. Uh, hello, Laj, hello. Welcome, Lash. Uh, here's another Canadian. Uh, we've got uh, around Montreal area, around the Drummondville area. And he's invited us to go down and fly some drones with them. Oh, yeah. And so I'm so excited, like a kid in a candy store. Of course. Yeah, that'll be so exciting. He's got a great channel, too, guys. Uh, it's very just put your feet up there, talking drone. It's kind of like when the guys, when I used to have uh, truck drivers, we'd all kind of sit around the shop after we we're done for the day talking for an hour. Yeah. That's what his feels like, just sitting back, feet up, shooting the breeze. and That's <laughs> Otero Studio, hey, good to have you here. I'm Canadian Light. Well, of course you are. You're Canadian to the max, my friend. <laughs> oh, Lewis, okay, Lewis, excellent. So I have a horrible memory, so don't be surprised if I forget it. Nothing personal. Everybody now got used to doing that with me, and I get it wrong. Except for Tony from Silver, uh, no, I can't even remember his channel name. Uh, yeah. So, you know what I mean? Silver from Collector. Australia. Yeah. Yes, so that's right. Australia. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. But Louis, good to meet you. Ultra Studios, hello, hello. <laughs> yep, that's so good to have you. And another past guest in here. We've had some amazing guests. I'm actually um, 
backing up today i had downloaded a program called let's see what it's called here again 4k uh, video downloader i had to make some temporary playlists because to buy you gotta buy it otherwise you can only download playlists of up to 25. <clears throat> and i'm uh, downloading all of our live streams a to back them up and b i'm going to start trying to turn them into podcasts so that's my next side project when I can possibly find the time. That's our summer project. Let's yeah. Say, more in the but I got to get started soon because you wouldn't believe how many videos, how many people we've interviewed so far. It, it's crazy. Uh, I didn't. Yeah, I was counting. I think it was like 44 or something. Like something that. like that. Like I haven't even finished downloading yet because I had to, uh, we had to do the live stream. Well, so this is our to... 53rd live stream. Yep. Uh, and uh, again, we started only like two, two months ago and uh, we have interviewed 43 people so far that's right and that's not counting manic monday where we had like multiple people in the same stream yeah it wasn't really an in no it wasn't really like just face to face it was one channel so yep. to say not really interviewing anybody anyway <laughs> uh but yeah 44 uh channels you know look so at the list and i say like we're not, i'm not done yet i still gonna go download some more so i decided to back them up it's good to have a backup in case something ever happens with youtube and be uh like I say, I'm going to extract the uh, the audio and try and uh, – I'm not going to clean them up. When we were talking to uh, um, Hills and Heathen, they said we should leave it raw, just put it in an opener maybe about a minute long or something like that. So, uh, Panel DVDs have a program at work. It will get the name. It actually downloads video and separates audio track. Use it to get all yep, the videos uh, that's one. Do, this one does the same as well. Um uh, and I was going to do it and download it twice, but since it's already downloaded, as soon as you drag it into Adobe Audition, it will separate it. Because at first I was about like this close to just taking out the audio, and I'm like, I might as well grab the video since I'm doing this and yeah. have a backup. Yeah, Crafty, that's it, it is a lot of interviews. It's amazing how this thing took off. Oh, Ter oh, that's nice. So Terry is asking how you're feeling. Thank you so much. Yeah, weekend uh, wasn't my uh, happy days. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh it's a, you know you know how it goes with uh, chronic pain sometimes it's better sometimes it's worse um humidity is starting to rise in montreal and i'm fearfully waiting for summer uh so when it rises too high all of a sudden then it, it gets worse but uh, it's better today so thank, thank you for asking mickey says i'll come on uh soon for you as soon as i figure well it's it's as easy as Hi, and what we can do is we can even do like a dry run sometimes. Uh, we'll just set up uh, Google Hangouts. Yeah. I'll send you the link. It's literally a link. As long as you have Google Hangouts, you should be able to get on We can figure it out together. Yeah. That would be even better. We can help you out. Yep. So uh, nothing to worry about there. That's as easy as can be. Um. Yeah. And I wanted to post something here. Oh, if by the way, if your channel has updated the YouTube Messenger option on your channel, uh, you can get in touch with us uh, as well. We, oh, oh my goodness, we can get in touch with us uh, through YouTube Messenger. You just gotta add this link that I'm just gonna post here. Yeah, guys, if you can, that would be great. Uh, and if... you can chat with us on uh, YouTube as well, or send a message, or send a video. Thank you, Canadian Drone Network. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's been. Uh, we had 42 subscribers in February. Uh, it's been growing pretty good. Um, you know, not all of them are coming back to see us, and we're well aware of that. We wanted to get over the uh, thousand mark. Uh, the first goal of our channel, to anybody new here, was is because uh, Pusha Studios actually does exist outside of here, and we wanted more coverage. And part of it was to get monetized, not for the money. We just want it so YouTube might push our videos a bit more, so that local people looking for wedding mm -hmm. and stuff like that, our name will keep popping up more. It's, yeah. We don't plan to get rich on it. We're not living in no dream world. Polynesian Logger was so sweet today. He asked if he, but if we have PayPal and he wanted to donate to us. And I oh. said, although it's very sweet and very kind, yeah. I would rather uh, him uh, donate it to somebody in the community that needs it. And, yeah. You know, tell us, uh, share the love with us. Um, that's right. We don't do this uh, no. for money. But thank you. Much appreciated. Yeah, it, 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 very sweet. You guys are unbelievable people. You are always, and I know I sing your praises night after night, you guys are the cream of the crop. And because you're the cream of the crop, people that aren't really leave here pretty quickly. 
253 for yeah. Alpacas. Thank Excellent. you. Thank you, Chad, for all the support. And they're amazing, guys. You'll never regret it. You're going to have yeah. a lot of great watches with them. And they're great supporters, too. They're... As we always say, that the, the subscription to the channel is just a nice bonus to being on our lives uh, and or being in a chat. Uh, it's not what we do here, but it's a nice side bonus. Uh, Thank you, Custom you Cards. So. That's really nice of you to say. I mean, we were surprised by it, too. Uh, like I said, for people who never thought thought they would do a live stream i guess we kind of uh beat the odds or something like that yeah. onto it Ultra studios i hope you feel better too once the community oh, goes down uh i so i so get it uh it's hard the community is hard uh, i'm dreading it so i hope i hope you feel better soon too well kim i'm gonna give you of course a moderator as well because we want all blue in here and kim is the sidekick i guess they would call each other's sidekick to the other of a Canadian drone a network and they do all their videos together and it was also Kim who invited us down as well so we'll be down at their that place because they share so a house amazing. together so. I, I like that and I wish we could just have this uh, flying machine or something mm. we could just visit all of you guys but especially happy oh, if we yeah. find somebody around the area the, uh, that's really nice and if you get to check out their live streams too like I say it's uh, that's exactly what it reminds me of is when we used to drive truck at the end of the day we'd all kind of like you know there's always that corner by the shop everybody's sitting around just kind of shooting the crap and everything else it's uh, it's fun uh, I'm a droner <laughs> <laughs> and I think a good humor like that too yeah uh, uh, she cares Audrey? I'm just gonna go check. I sorry, I gotta go check on our dog. Sounded like a cat. Yeah, I know. We don't have a cat. Uh sorry, it just sounded really weird. Is she okay? Some scary sounds. Uh <laughs> There's a flying machine. It's called a plane. LOL. Well, if you can buy a plane for me, then it's going to be my uh, flying machine. Uh, so, uh, And you're a crasher. No way. No, no, no way. <laughs> Guys. Um, yeah, let me see. When did we start the live streaming? I just want to see uh, what date it was. We just celebrated 50... 50th uh, just past week um so is she okay yeah she was trying to pretend she was sleeping <laughs> well that sounded like a cat snap there she was laughing at that's why <laughs> so we started our live streams on march 29th so tomorrow is going to be march april april may tomorrow is going to be two months she's only Tomorrow yeah. is going to be only two months since we are doing live streams, but this is our <coughs> number 53. Tomorrow is going to be 53. I don't know where the time has and gone. We it's have interviewed great. more than 44 people. We never spent so much time on this couch in our lives. <laughs> Just sitting here. And it is a lot of work, guys. And, you know, after when it's done, there's like getting people and nobody's getting paid to come on here. And I mean, their time is valuable. Sometimes they have to cancel. Like the other day when we had our. Uh, our drink that night, uh, a guest had had to cancel. It happens, so we had a Xenia had a photo shoot. So I took her there. I came back and I'm like, I told her when I was on the way over, I'm like, I'm going home. I'm going on live streams because I need an answer right away, and I'm looking for anybody that we know. And I went on, and sure enough, craft beer pours. They were with their kids out by the beach that day. Uh, they live in Massachusetts, and I'm like. Hey guys, how are you? And they're like, oh, Pusha Studios here, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what are you guys doing tonight? And he took the phone and kind of turned aside and looked over it. And I couldn't see his mouth fully, but I knew what he was saying. I think they want us to go on tonight because we've been asking them. And they were nervous to come on. I don't know why. So uh, they turned back and I'm like, I think I know what you're saying. And yes, I, I, we're kind of stuck. Our guests canceled. Can you guys come on? And they looked at each other and then they were like, maybe. Oh, yeah, okay, we'll do it. And that was amazing. We had such a fun night. If you can get back and watch that video, I know some of you has caught it already. And there's a timestamp from one of the comments I think Rob93 made. If you click on it, you can see where uh, Brandon accidentally fell off his chair and he had on this uh, the, the man uh, apron there with the pecs and everything else and all oh, that. Oh, my God, yeah. It was so funny. Mm -hmm. got to check it out. And they're such great videos. people. Yeah. They're, we had, they're, they're really nice. Like, and I like the way they started off we, because I knew that was something that had been bothering them. So we covered from the beginning. Just because they're a beard channel, people almost think that they just like live as alcoholics. If they have videos scheduled like a lot of us do to release, 
if you release at nine in the morning and then half the comments are, whoa, God, you're drinking at nine in the morning. You know, these guys are pretty fit. They don't put me in mind of any kind of like beer hogs. And no. once again, if somebody's drinking to get drunk all the time, they don't usually blow their money on craft beers. It's usually like a case of blue ribbon or something like that, you know, and not picking on blue ribbon if anybody likes it and just taking it out a quarter's light or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, and, it, and the, I mean, the biggest part is also we are on such different time zones with everybody. And yes. we, all, we always stream guests on, at 8 p.m. Eastern, you know, winging it sometimes in the different uh, yeah. times in the morning when Andrew is just on his own. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. But guests are only in the evening and people are from all over the world. Like we had this natural journey uh, from New Zealand, you know, and we, we had them on Friday. <laughs> it was their but Saturday. It's, it's almost kind of easier for them because it's like a day, you know, the yeah, full day. Yeah, we have UK. And, the UK is hard. Uh, like when we had the Donnie show, the, you know, uh, yeah. tech, uh, frog tech tips. Yeah. Know. Like they're getting up at like they're starting the interview at one o'clock in the morning, which is really nice of them off for their time. Definitely. And uh Yes, they are, Philip. I agree. And uh yes, we have talked with JJ already before at the very beginning. So we're gonna try and approach her again. She was very shy then. People are shy when they start, but then yeah. ten minutes after they are laughing with everybody. So because all we know how to do is just talk. Like we're we're not trained, as you can see, believe me, of, of any of this. So it's not like we came from a broadcasting background or anything. It's just all we can do is bring to the table is try and just talk to people as if we got to meet at a diner or they came over to visit. Yeah, because there. we always say there's uh, so much more behind the channel. Uh, you know, there's people behind the channel. Mm -hmm. It's not channels connecting. It's people behind the channels. Yeah. And it's so great to know more about who is behind the channel. Plus, when you're a guest, I think uh, people get to connect with you so much more. They know more. Uh, They'll be better followers. They to follow you, you much you better know, afterwards. Their, their comments are more uh, genuine, more. They're usually longer. They're more on topic. Because... When we subscribe to each other, it's almost like saying it's like being at a meet and greet. And here's my business card, which is great. It's everything's got to start somewhere. We like to think of these interviews as kind of like that first sit down lunch with that person you met a couple of weeks ago at that place, because we're getting handed business cards everywhere, and some don't want our business and just want to give us a business card to say they did it, and vice versa, whatever the case. But things like this is where we wanted to make because we used to do like i mean i do very cinematograph cinematography based videos that's very important to me so when we started the live stream was first just to say thank you for following us to get to a thousand but then it kind of caught on we thought well if we're going to do it a we don't know what to say for two hours so we need a guess but b we want to do something that at least wasn't wasting your time just so we can say we're building watch time it needs to be something that everybody wins for or it's nobody's going to stay around. They'll get tired of it. So our guests, we really work hard to try and not pick people from the same genre. Like if we had beer craft on Saturday night, you know, we wouldn't have somebody else from the beer community Monday night. Uh, uh, same as with the drone community, same with the car community. Uh, to break it up so everybody feels kind of equally represented here. Or the alpaca community, which is very strong right now. So you have to... I still hope they go to that farm. That would be so good. Oh I, yeah, I, I that can would just be picture, amazing. I can picture his his, uh, his humor and the and the lambs and that. It's gonna be a riot to watch. Yeah. And yeah, I just answered uh, L A J. Uh, Tuesday Tech Talk is tomorrow at eight p.m. And so are all our other live streams every day from Monday to Saturday. We only have one day off uh, sometimes mm. <laughs> uh, at 8 p.m. Eastern. So even if you don't remember what do we have that day, uh, just tune in at 8 p.m. Eastern, and we are going to be here to say hi uh, if you pass by. We're just always happy to see you. And JD97, hey. hello, hello. How are you? Uh, yeah, we're just about to finish our live stream. Let's sell for uh, but we, yeah, yeah. We, just about. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm just explaining. Uh, good night. Good night, uh, Laj. I hope to see you tomorrow. Yes, I'm so glad. I'm so glad, Lewis. I'm if so glad you found us. If there's anything special Lewis. you want to see on a tech talk, uh, tweet at us or message us. Um, if not, we're just uh, doing that. We just found answer. each other today. We're not very far apart. So that's really cool. It's always nice to find somebody in the community so that's close by. So don't forget the hair back community. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're representing well, Steve. -O. Me too, I guess. We're kind of both, I guess you're like me, you're kind of like a walking chia pet. Ugh.
<laughs> um, I'm so glad that Val's here too. That's really cool. A lot tonight, like a lot from all these channels. I met so many people today. It was amazing. Like, mm -hmm. and that's what it is. Like, we've gotten over the thousand. Now that's what it is: is going to great channels and and looking to, in their live stream for people not just who are there like uh, walk in sub 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 sub. The people that actually are talking and mingling there and 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 have been there, because if it's a great channel and these people are doing it, ten, most likely they're great channels as well. And yeah, I mean, we well we jumped kind of fast the last couple of days. God, we're at what? What are we at right now? I want to check that. And while you're checking, T Stark, thank you. And that's okay if you can't. Uh, live first on Wednesday, we're going to be having Southern Food Junkie on. Going to be talking all about different yeah. food. Make sure you eat before you yeah, come to it. Yeah, be... that's, that's a really yummy, yummy, yummy channel. We're at 1572 right now. We just uh, celebrated 1500 the other day. So last week, I think it was last Friday or something. Yeah. It's around that. Perma sweater, blue wrench. Why perma sweater? Yeah, what I'm is a perma sweater? Oh, perma sweater. I know what he means because of the hair. Perma sweater. Oh, now okay. I got the I had to think for a second. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God, God, you're so crazy. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Teeth Throg's on his way out. On the way out. Teeth Throg is out. Yeah, is that piece of yeah i just oh, uh okay, repeated did. about uh wednesday uh if uh, they come on wednesday instead mm. uh Thank is that so piece much, of Kim. paper my report card no it's a calendar of <laughs> guests <laughs> it's a calendar of guests uh because usually i mention a few of the guests that we're gonna have the following day so um <laughs> I I usually write them in paper because I'm so bad at digitally planning. So for every month, I have printed out the big calendar and write I write down the uh, yes in it. Yeah, Mickey is asking where where's the scarf? scarf. Yeah, it's hot today. I usually have scarves. Oh dear yes. God, a scarf today you would die. Gator the legend. Hello, hey, hello. Hi. how are you? So good to have you back. Yeah, we had amazing guests tonight. We had two alpacas on. I think they were still in the chat. Uh, uh, lifestyle, well, life and travel vloggers, a couple from t Tennessee. 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 Yeah. Uh, amazing people. Lots of laughs. My God, if yeah. you want to have a laugh tonight, you're going to go back and check it. We were just laughing. They're as crazy. genuine as genuine can be. That's what I love about them. And that's why their channel I find is so uh, inviting to watch. It yeah. Really is. Uh, so uh, tomorrow is Tuesday Tech Talk again. Uh, your your questions, our questions, your answers, our answers. Everything goes. Or just uh, everybody's talking, asking, and answering questions. Uh, Wednesday we're gonna have Southern Food Junkie eat before you come. <laughs> uh, on Thursday we're gonna have the Canadian Paper Free Chris is gonna be on. Oh, right. uh, that's a yeah, a young man uh, uh, from Canada uh, is doing uh, some vlogs, some comedy, uh, a, a new like fair, well, fairly new channel I would say, but very funny channel. Passion for hunting, by the way, uh, is in Toronto, right, or just outside of Toronto. And like I said, I have a horrible memory, so I hope I have that right because we just connected today on Walker Outdoors, and so there's a lot of Canadians today. That was amazing. I, I, it's always good to, yep, yeah, I'm sure it was Trump, but if I'm wrong, please forgive me. And on Friday, Jeez, we're going to have. Don't do that. God. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking nails there right up on the side. God, I'm waiting to give him the willies. So what was that today? Cow flying? Yeah. Uninteresting. <laughs> oh, give it up, woman. Uh, okay, so Friday, Brent, Brenda's beauty. Can anybody new here? My safety word when you hear this potato sack. That's when Xenia is going now, crazy. I'm trying to so. tell them what we're going to have. I just week, want them to know the impossible. safety word because when things go down here, they go down hard. And you're, you're, you're going to go all crazy Latvian or something like that. And I need help. Potato sack. I really yeah, think that's I'm what I said. Is she. I, I, uh, I the, told him, but he doesn't uh, listen. Uh, there we go. Potato sack. Potato is she. Side. So can I talk about our guests or is it something else you want to add? JD97 is no, so we just want to feel welcomed. Or her welcome. 
Oh, that's him. Him. I know it's a him. Yeah, this one. JD came in five minutes ago, but welcome yeah, I know again. that. I said hi. Yeah, yeah you're new. Time. That's great. Thank you very much. Uh, welcome. Uh, travel. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> travel yeah. in paradise. <laughs> yeah, you should have seen it earlier. Uh, you know, we weren't sure if, if we are going to make it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have almost going to have a, a Pucha Studios yeah. divorce court live, live stream. Live from <laughs> uh, divorce court uh, tomorrow. No, no. Uh, <laughs> Just laughing it off, but uh, it was, it was <laughs> on the edge there. Shit. And now we know where your ticklish spot is, according to Windy City. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and thank you, Windy City. Yes, potato sack. Thank you. <laughs> potato sack, potato sack, potato sack. For those of you who right don't now, know, it's Andrew's safety word. is potato sack. Okay? Somebody had pineapple in the chat. I forget who. Oh. Uh, uh, we're hilarious. Yeah. Well, whatever helps. We're yeah, not I trying. Think. We're yeah, not trying at all. I, mean, I don't know. Uh, not just pop back. Well, in. you have to be sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I just popped back into the chat. <laughs> You're forgiven. Where did you go? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I thought even... we are on your big TV. So, uh, so now, can I please talk about the guests? All righty, here we go. No, I'll have to start again. Action. I don't know if I'm going to get back action. to the end. Here we so go. tomorrow, Tuesday, Tech Talk, 8 p.m. Wednesday, Southern Food Junkie, 8 p.m. Thursday, 8 p.m., Chris, Paper Free Chris from Canada. On Friday, we're going to have Brenda's Beauty Blog that just celebrated their thousand last week. Mm -hmm. And Saturday, we're going to have a channel -y panel. Yeah, we've been trying for a while yeah. to get that one worked out. Uh, so. so this is going to be this week. Uh, we already have booked uh, farther up in June. <coughs> so amazing, great channels coming up every day from Monday to Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Anybody that's new here, we always bring in these channels because they have great followers. So you're always going to have a new run of people to meet each night that they bring that don't usually come to, that don't know about our channel yet. Yeah. And if you guys can bring two or three of your good friends from your channels we're not looking to say everybody here turn it into a sub fest. No. But if you can bring a couple of your best friends here that you uh, that you think would fit in and enjoy what we do, that's really appreciated too. So we always have a good mix for everybody. Yeah, I think it, yeah. it's great that that's what you're trying to do. You know, it's it's always it's somebody that you know from the chat that are guests, but also somebody that uh, we never uh, you know heard about, so to say, yep. in the community. So we broaden our horizons and uh, same as today, uh, the ones we have different channels. Yeah, Walker Outdoors and stuff like that. I mean, today he's a great channel, and some great people came by tonight from there. You know, and and different channels over the last couple of days. It's nice to see all the, these new faces here. Mixed women with a really good foundation of our returning people. Did I practice my notes? Well, I tried, but you mm. see how hard it is here. So. Oh, my God. Put my Russian accent on top of that, and it all turns into ashes. Padushka. Yeah, padushka. It's my favorite word. It means pillow. But it's... <laughs> I started learning Russian, and I liked Russian because I wanted to learn Latvian at first. Latvian is crazy ass hard, and almost nobody speaks it. So I'm like, I'll learn, try to learn Russian because it's used in a lot more countries. But all the words don't have that power I was looking for. Like tree is deriva and uh, vada is water, mm -hmm. uh, mosque is bridge, stuff like that. But I don't, I like that and you need to learn to speak it. But I want the slam ass table Gorbachev blowing a gasket Russian. You know what I mean? You guys do know. And what word do I find that actually works? Pillow. Padushka. <laughs> Padushka. I want the baratsko nuts, and I want to be slamming tables and saying, can I have another cup of tea, please? But No, no. it's like that Simpsons episode. You know, it just sounds like uh, Russians are always arguing, but yeah. <laughs> it's not. Have you guys ever seen that episode, Lisa's Lost, and she ends up in the Russian district, and there's two guys playing chess, and she says, can you tell me how to where to go? And the guy's like, Tarashkuna, no Rushkana, no Stashkin. He's hit the tail. He's like, Oh, you just have to go down the street and take two turns to the left and you'll be fine. And that's what I want. <laughs> so, Paul kind of left, uh, let down by that one. Thank you, Gator. Uh, by the way, thank you for the shout out uh, you did uh, last week. Thank you so much. Thank you for the freaking pillow belly t set. <laughs> Like Latvian is crazy hard because every word it's an older language, and yes, it's borrowed some from the countries that have occupied it over the years, but it's still very old. 
And we were talking about the other night, like if you say plane in Latvian is needle machina, which is literally flying machine. And the hardest word, one of the only words I remember in Latvian because it was so bloody hard, I thought I'd never get it was turtle. Yeah. Brunio rupetis. So there you go. Your third wife was Russian. And which one was the model? Was it the model that was Russian? That's a big interesting combination. Yeah. See how we get to know each other? Uh <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh congrats on 1500 yeah thank you thank, thank you, you so again. much it was very sweet and it's nice to you that keep, you're, you're coming by and that we really do appreciate having you here and again thank all. you for the shout out thank you very yes much. uh was... what did manu manu i fish is talking french bonsoir a two a plus uh, uh, uh good night to you all oh, uh, okay. i think just left oh. uh yeah, and somebody been uh, oh Mickey was learning Spanish at Taco Bell. <laughs> Jeez. Your third wife was also your first wife. Wow. Oh my Well, fish. let me ask you: Did you divorce her second because of your first? <laughs> that was like that kind of story. That's uh, interesting. Manu, Manu, Manu Fish is still here. So bonsoir and merci très très beaucoup pour venir ici. As well. He's actually, I thought he was in Quebec at first, but he's actually in France. It's kind of cool. He's got a fishing channel and he's in with a lot of the fishing guys, but I don't think he can write anything in English. Yeah. But he comments with everybody and I. Oh, yeah, he always video. comes in. He shows trout fishing like outside of like uh, Lyon, those places and all that's very cool. Well, bingo, I win a high five. Philip's uh, uh, Russian wife was model. So that's the same one that he was talking about being model. Oh. Yeah, it was Russian model. Hmm. Hmm, that's interesting. Yes. Uh -huh. From Russia with love. Yeah. That must be some. I'm sorry, stereotypes. Bitchy marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Russian and model. You uh, not show me no love. I don't that's feel the love. Quite a explosive oh. combination. But I'm just talking, oh. and I can't talk about it. I am one half officially Russian. I'm up so to eight now. I'm allowed. I'm allowed. <laughs> You're up to eight. Okay. Okay. I, I'm not driving no Lexus. Come on, man. This is no lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was saying a lot a while ago, too. I meant to say one last thing is when you learn the language, it's kind of like Japanese, and there's arrows. When the kids learn, there's arrows going up and down on every syllable. syllable. So when you're on the bus, I always heard the expression, the, 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 the word, because they say it automatically. It's Nakama Vietra, which is next stop. But you can't say Nakama Bieta, you say Nakama Bieta. It's a very sing song language. It's, uh, well, Russian's kind of cool. Like, I didn't realize until like, Xenia started teaching me, you can actually, it's one of the few languages you can learn to read and speak at the same time because mm -hmm. it's phonetic. Yeah, and it's very poetic language. I mean, yeah. obviously, all the classic literature from 18th, 19th century is poetry and Russian literature. Um, you know, you can say one thing in 15 different ways, and uh, it's beautiful language. Oh, it is. It, it, it's it's so, also great to swear in. <laughs> it is. It's like French. It really rolls off the tongue. I don't swear, really, but, it, uh, but it just sounds uh, very, yeah. very powerful. No. I prefer to swear in French any day of the week over English. It really gets the point across. It, uh, it rolls off the tongue better, and uh, yeah. More utilitarian for that kind of stuff. <laughs> Philip, marriage might not be your your friend. <laughs> Maybe he loves it so much. That's why he's doing yeah, it. All yeah, the time. yeah, exactly, exactly. He's always into the yeah. new love, then the passion runs. Oh my god. Yeah, he, he's got to. That's be. crazy expensive hobby, my friend. <laughs> Panic, he said. Uh, oh my god, I made her mad. Then, after I married later in life, she decided to not be mad anymore, oh. and it's cheaper to keep her. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still married to her? That's what I'm wondering right now. She was that first, that is the same as the third oh, one. Oh my god, you guys are something else. Oh, uh, yeah, Phil Cockrum is a, a guitar player, yeah. an awesome guitar player, so yeah. Oh, and an awesome expensive. guy too. I mean, one of the amazing supporters. I mean, always has got so many nice things to say of the channel and stuff like that. <laughs> Not so much sometimes about marriage, but about everything else with the channel. He's like, 
<laughs> oh, oh guys see you guys are funny too bad battle cats is not here he would chime in about his divorce yeah i missed him when he when did he leave uh i i think a while ago he okay. left um uh, maybe he switched to some somewhere i, I missed, don't know i missed him or he went with the dog our dog apparently was chewing his boot he was so hungry she was so hungry i'm sorry he has a black lab i knew i had this somewhere Phil no god it's a family <laughs> channel what are you showing two alpacas oh. and actually philip too because he's a canadian uh that's into music you're talking about finding like strange music in that this is an album cover that I seen years ago, and I just found it recently again. I shared Five on Facebook. Five minutes of adult swim was live and live. <laughs> this is one of I found it when I worked for the music company. This is the funniest album cover I've ever seen. I wonder if maybe even Philip heard of them already. Look at this thing. <laughs> it's amazing. It's the most, <laughs> the guy actually works in a mortuary. He's an embalmer, and then he has a band on the side, I think in uh, Vancouver or somewhere. And this was his, uh, this was his album cover. And I, I don't know why it cracks me up every time I look at it. It's the most bizarre looking thing I've ever seen. Win City is uh, is uh, congratulations due or uh, we're sorry uh, because I never know what to say in this situation. <laughs> and that's not boring, Gator. That's called love. It is funny, exactly. It cra it's amazing. It cracks me up, and I don't know how the hell I ever stumbled onto this, but. And it's still saved in the computer. Oh yeah, this year to me. <laughs> That's what I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is something that you just don't go getting rid of. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. Polynesian. Yeah. And well, it is. A, it is a sex doll. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Congratulations, uh, Win City. Then. And the, the the thing is, he's about to the stab her as he's trying to put the uh, corsage into her. You know, all we need now is for Cassie to come in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, this would usually mean Kathy usually walks in anytime something like this is happening. This is, you know. Uh, oh my God, almighty. You only not married number two to piss off number one and three. That's. Well, I'm sorry. Divorce is quite expensive uh, venture. <laughs> Did you really have to get married to, to get her angry? That's um, overkill, but. Oh my God, almighty. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think honest in all honesty, it was it's when I worked for the music time. company, and if I'm and to be completely honest, I think they were on he was on CBC radio that day or something came up. It was something to do with that how I found it. But they didn't talk about the at first they didn't talk about the album cover. That was just an extra little surprise. The, but I seen it and I still remember because I'm sitting there in my uh, office. I got my like the two 24 inch laptop. And I think I almost knocked one over because I was laughing so hard. Wolfie, welcome back. You're right in time for the adult swim with Pusha. Oh, oh well, Wolfie never seen it yet. So <laughs> we're just I'm showing them one of these Canadian album covers that I found. This guy he runs them, he's a embalmer and he has a band on the side. And if our live streams ever get close to eleven PM, this is what it turns into, <laughs> yeah. yeah. From family friendly to this. Well, this isn't bad. It's just a picture. It's a Jesus retainer thing in his mouth, and the whole the whole thing there's, it's it's. <laughs> yeah, well, when City said we know how it's called porn. Hub, yeah, I know when it was. I seen that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I, you didn't see because I just was answering the Win City's uh, finalizing his divorce next uh, month. So congratulations. Oh well, yeah, congratulations to you. Been down that road, know all about that stuff. So. Number two was Antichrist. Wow. I thought you would like that, Wolfie. <laughs> yes, wrong on every level. That's right. Even There's a whole chart that goes with that album cover. Everywhere you look, there's something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is what we turn into closer to 11. Oh, man, that rain is coming down now. We're going to get a real cloud burst. Yeah, it's supposed to be cooler tomorrow, so hopefully it could breathe some. Oh, thank you, Gary. I, I, and I, we know that. Like we always say to everybody, real life comes first. So any time you guys spend with us is valuable time, and we truly appreciate having you here. Oh, definitely. We usually are from 8 to 10, but we also usually go past that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I know, too, of Packers. Yeah, this one was a little more visual, so that's why. Well, I... Maybe it's going to be your next one, a Music Monday feature. Look him up and see. He, <laughs> I think I figured what he's uh, it seems to me it's kind of a bit like a punkish, 
pop uh, Canadian band that kind of comparable would be like Blue Rodeo, but more like a punk beat to it or the Northern Pikes. I'm not sure. Yeah, Polynesia, you're underage. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah. yeah. I think we all wish that. Uh, <laughs> Wind City, as long as the doll's mouth. Can she open is looking the them up now. Look at good. that. Now that's what I like to see. Good. That's what I like to see. Well, now we're looking forward to your Monday music. You're again. a team player, my friend. <laughs> I've always, that's one thing about me, if you want to know a little insight, because I used to watch like Kids in the Hall and all that stuff growing up in a rural area. I always liked these like shows that kind of went out of the box a bit. I was always looking for anything weird like that, always cracked me up. In the last three weeks, I don't think you have ever ended at 10 p.m. but once. Face it, you're 8 to 11. When you go and look at our videos, the length of them, when I was done with them today, I seen right away that 10 is kind of like a suggested yeah. idea. Uh, yeah, 9 out of 10 uh, lives and at 11 or later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gator, we are having our third kid on the 5th, so you won't see me for a... Congratulations! Excellent! Oh, oh we're so happy God. for you. That's so amazing! Excellent. Oh, wow. Congratulations. You know it's a boy or a girl? Do they want to be on the show? <laughs> That's so I'm amazing. so happy for you. That's amazing. Oh, congrats. Yep. Gosh, that's so great. That's really cool. Third one. How old are your other children? We have a 20-year-old, uh, 11 and 7. And we're not having any more. I'm happy. I'm walking in front of a microwave. Every no, second. we are not having any more. So no, don't, no need for microwaves. We're yeah. good. <laughs> Do you want to get Xenia a present? Just tie it with a bow for the tubes. And I'm going to walk and make sure I'm good and sterile. And we'll be good. So, uh, Two alpacas. Kids in the Hall was a strange show. A boy. Wow. Congratulations. Excellent. Excellent. 11 and 6. Oh. So, yeah, they'll follow kind of our. Yeah, kind of the, the same age, gap, uh, age well. gap. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I love babies. Third boy. Yeah, oh, they're all boys. Oh. Mickey said not live person. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, my goodness, guys. Oh, oh. Now, I'm writing it down here, so. I assume it's a C-section, mm -hmm. if you know it's uh, the date. Um. Uh, so happy for you, though. Congrats. Yeah, no, I'm very, it's amazing. Congratulations to you all. Three boys. That's cool. We got uh, two easy. boys, and then the youngest is a girl. Yeah. Our and she girl. has enough estrogen to squash out any of those guys in a heartbeat. So. Yes. Yeah, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> LOL. Thanks, Mickey. <laughs> You guys are all so awesome. I just some I catch myself not even forgetting that we have a live stream. I just get looked at watching yeah, I know, I everybody know. in the chat here. Oh, third C section. Yeah. Oh well. Oh, I no, we're happy for you. You know, that, and, and that everything that. goes well. Yep. Uh, everything is smooth and uh, I know you'll baby. be busy with the baby, and I know you won't be able to be on for a little bit. If you can just let us know though that everything went all right and that. Uh, do an update in your video. If we don't see it, please, if you think of it, yeah. just send us a Twitter. Well, we're just going to go and check on your Twitter probably yeah. as an update there. Uh, oh, yeah, you wrote I down. I wrote good. it down, so uh, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, I, when you said, I got too, uh, too many myself. How many do you have? That's been the one thing about the channel growing as much, and honestly, with the live stream six nights a week, it's just getting harder and harder to catch everybody. Like, I was diligent in it, and we're still trying to go back, but it's just, it's hard. But we try our best. Two boys and two girls for Mickey. Wow. Oh. Well, my wife and I have been together That's 20 years, busy. so we have four boys, uh, uh, have four, two boys. And two I just read it. I know. I was just reading it all, because I got mixed up for a second with the number four. I couldn't understand what was four boys. I didn't think it was 42 boys. Flying cows. Don't Going push to it be tonight. seven. You'll be sent to your room on time out. Going so. to be <laughs> seven kids? Did I understand it right? Yeah, I'm confused. <laughs> wow. Wow. 
Well, I'm glad Polynesian we do that for you. Especially what you've been through lately. You deserve to have some laughs and North American trains. Hi. And watching uh watching me uh wrangle this European We're waiting. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing to me? Are you happy? Was it fun? Oh, you, did, you, did you hear the moment when my brain cracked tonight? Like, and you're just basking in the glory? You well, I was waiting life. for that epithet After all there. these years, you finally broke it? Of asking me questions about... One piece at a time. Okay, you want to do that? Fine. April Fool's Day, first year we're together. <laughs> Is it the week of revelations or what? Yes, that's right. <laughs> so it's the 1st of April, and I tell her we're going up to see this animal. And it's called the Great Pundus, and it's about the size of a rabbit, has a head like a sheep, but its body color is kind of the color of a fox. And we go up to my aunt's house, and we go back, and there's the woods, and I told her that we have to catch them now because it's maple syrup time, and they've adapted over the years to knock the lines off and drink the sap, which gives them the energy they need to migrate to Greenland every year. Now, it was the first season of being in Canada. Yes, yes, it was the first season of being in Canada, and it was the 1st of April. So we get outside, and uh, I'm thinking, like, what do I tell her now? Because I got her out here, and we're there for a good 30 minutes or so, and I'm teaching her to call this great pundus. So you put your head up like this, you know. So she didn't have her fingers right at first, so I helped her get her fingering right and all that stuff, and we tried a couple more times, and it worked, and she was all set. And we called, and well, we called for a good 40 minutes or so, I guess. And then finally, she was a... And she heard a crack, and it was it was probably like a gray jay or something like that there that's a kind of snapped a, snapped a branch. <laughs> and uh, she goes, oh, I think I heard one. I think I heard one. And she was so excited to see this thing. And then I said, oh, Jesus, what do I tell her now? <laughs> like, I know this is not going to end up with the joke that I was kind of hoping for. Oh, all right, well, we'll just cut to the chase. So I said, okay, well, there's one more way to call them, and I forget I put my hands somewhere like this, and I'm like, you got to put your hands like this, lock your thumb around, and go, April Fools. And, uh, yeah, she started to cry. So. And I felt like shit. <laughs> now, I obviously, I heard of Canada before. <laughs> Our first female president in Latvia was from Canada. Um, but, uh, you know, I didn't know every detail about every little animal that was living here. So being in love and mm. trusting the man I followed 8,000 kilometers across the pond to, uh, I trusted what he was telling me about, right? Uh. Mm -hmm. Look where it got me. <laughs> you never had it so good. You're well off. Yeah. You're a lucky Watch girl. Watch life with push and learn. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know if it tells more about you or me. I knew you were going to say that. Mm -hmm. I'm good with it. I'm mm -hmm. happy where I stand with it. <laughs> Philip, I'm so happy to call you my friend, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> we all make mistakes. Oh, see, Gator always has the nice, equal answer for everybody. He's like the peacemaker. Like everybody goes to him for advice. <laughs> I love that. That's so diplomatic. I love it. Nature Bound, thank you for coming. Yes. In. So um, and uh Wind City is four girls and three boys and uh, is planning a trip to Walmart to go across the microwave. Across the microwave? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Well, don't he's not gonna come across the microwave. That's kind of the worst wording possible, first of all. Secondly, because it kind of defeats the purpose. But anyways, yes, I don't <laughs> yeah. Thing is, throw in some eggs into it, put it on for 10 minutes, stand with your crunch about, I don't know, quarter of an inch away from the door, maybe find a way to open it up. Way to go, hon. <laughs> Good choice of words. Yeah. Now things are going back to the way they usually go. <laughs> See? Oh my god. Yeah. Time it goes oh. eleven ten and the world is centering. <laughs> well played. Yeah. yeah. See? It's good to be home, isn't it? Oh <laughs> yeah. That was a lot of work. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, it's good to have you home. <laughs> I, I I was like a microwave that was too small for my girls on the side of the road. <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> you guys are insane. Oh my God. North American Train, oh thank you so God. much for coming. Oh. oh, God, you guys are so funny. <laughs> that will be four girls for <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh, my God. There's no... There's no microwaves in the Easy Bake. You gotta go go to a garage sale. And look for that 25, 30 year old microwave, one of those big ones. There, you know that had no protection them whatsoever. That's the kind of puppy you gotta wrangle yourself with. Oh my god! Straddle that for a couple hours and be fine. Good night, our special guests yeah. of today. The yes, Joel thank Packers. you so much for thank coming. Thank you so much. Did you find the album, by the way, before you go? I hope. And thank you, JD, for coming in. Hope yes. to see you again, 8 p.m. Eastern. Tomorrow night is Tech Talk Tuesday, guys. We got answers to questions. You guys got answers to questions. It's a great hangout. Hope to see you guys there if you can make it. Love to have you. They will be waving on the <laughs> side of the <laughs> road. <laughs> yes, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, well, you enjoy those alpacas. <laughs> Well, guys, I guess it's that time of night, eh? It's been so much fun hanging with you. Uh, thank you so much. Is anybody here going to be live streaming next so we can uh, you can announce yourselves? So people can head over? Yeah. Wind City, you're not live streaming today? You usually are. Ah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hopefully in a good way. Yes, exactly. <laughs> are you going on? To no, not tonight, though, are you? Good night, time for a movie. Also, you're not streaming today. Okay, so oh. who is then? You gonna be in the cabin after the oh, night, cool. so I'll have to wait. I'm back in town. Perfect. You have an amazing yep. time. That is so cool. Oh. What are you doing? Spider. Was a spider. Okay. We love you guys. We love you too, Polynesian. All of you guys, you're absolutely fantastic. We couldn't be luckier to have such a great group like you guys. <laughs> Stay safe, yeah. please. I know we Need keep you making. asking all the time, but not yeah. being at the place, we just keep associating <laughs> you with everything yeah, that's going no, on exactly. there. So we're probably going to be asking the same question tomorrow. Be safe so and be well. Uh, so nobody's live streaming after us, okay? Oh God, Wolfie will be back in a couple of weeks, so that's crazy. Love it. Can you take you, me with you? Like, <laughs> I would just uh, love be somewhere. Terrell, my dear, thank you so much once bridge. again. You're always so amazing. I feel like you're something to the unsung hero. Always know how much we appreciate everything you do here. And Gator oh. is uh, streaming Wednesday. In the woods with Wolfie. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, thank you all for participating. So, once again, tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern, Tech Talk Tuesday, with yep. other questions and all the answers everybody can come up with. We'll help each other. Uh, and uh, the following week, we have amazing guests starting Wednesday with Southern Food Junkie. Guys, it's going to be really great. Yeah. It was so amazing. I can go on my second channel, channel tonight if you guys really want someone to. Hey, like we were, we're happy to pass the baton over to somebody, so that's yeah, why we're we asking. Just, uh, we, yeah. You know, uh, that's part of supporting each other. My, if people want to hang around, we'll definitely send them your way. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Go check uh, get, uh, your small YouTuber's news channel. I wasn't expecting that kind of a crowd tonight. Yeah, it was very good. They were they were good too. Oh yeah. And I hope too a lot came from today and stuff. Definitely a lot was a good change there. Yeah. It was like chat, I just I couldn't even keep keep up with it at some points there. It was so fast. That's that's uh, I because I wasn't expecting it to be this good tonight. I thought tonight was gonna be just a hold me over, not a little I've been wanting to see the oh shit 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 shit. We got ghosted. What means ghosted? Somebody copied our channel, like somebody else was showing it. They were live streaming us. 
I don't know. We are live. That's why it's shown for. <laughs> what is going on? Let me go back on for a second. It has us joining it. Ah, so now we can start talking bad about everybody. Yeah, yeah. No, but I don't know because sometimes that means you've been hacked. That's why. Ha ha ha. What did he say? I don't know that we are on. We're Let's still see. live. Let's see here. We are. On.